Welcome back to Silver Reef Gaming. I'm Silver Reef, or Jade in some circumstances. Um, uh, this is part 18 of Rise of Team Matt. Although we could call it something else, probably it's not at this point. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, let's see. Where do I last left off? Actually, I kind of forgot. Oh, yeah, we were fighting off Dorian. A lot of things happened in the Feywilds. Everyone's mm -hmm. exhausted. We and got ported. We got ported back to the airship. Now we're on our way to to where Ezra is calling the place that Ezra is calling home. Yeah, and that's my understanding, anyways. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. For the most part. You want to take over from your rescue? Um. Or do you want me? Sure. Or do you want me to just keep just keep going? Because. I think you better have the reins for this. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll have the reins. All right, so... Uh, since this is a side session now, since Freeze is in here... Uh, yeah, happy 4th of July, everyone, by the way. To those who celebrate it. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because, like... Yeah, over here, we don't have to celebrate it. Yeah, and Ron was not exactly going to be celebrating that. <laughs> she might as yeah. well call it Treason Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she probably call it that. For those, <coughs> for those who are just joining us here, here Nara is from uh, Britain, was it? Or the, the UK? I think people in UD tell by my accent. <laughs> I mean... Well, the, to be fair, I've met people from Australia. I've met people from Britain. I don't mean any offense, but you guys sound the same fucking alike. <laughs> Let's be yeah. careful. Be careful. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's true. To say, true. I cannot if you said help. that to, if you said that to a British, like another British person or another Australian person, they would both beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, excuse me. Uh, no <laughs> Let's offense. continue with this. Anyways. Anyways. Okay. Um. <clears throat> um, I was just going to use an excuse to get this, these coughs out because actually I am coughing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to give you a side quest because cool. actually I do have something I've been meaning to give you. Uh, are you all right with me giving you something relatively difficult? How difficult? <laughs> Oh, it's, dear. it's uh at the bottom. It's the. <laughs> Let's see now. As where long is it? as I end up living and breathing, I'm okay with the difficulty. Now I just gotta find find it. That's all. I believe it's still here. Let's see. It's right here. Up oh, there. It is. There's one, two. I think I found it. No, that's that's not. It's not. That's not it. Uh, that's not it. Okay, I gotta find it. I... Oh, I hate this so much. I think I actually have to re 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 like reinstall a thing. Because I, I think I... Honestly, I would like it if we just did some downtime stuff here. This fair time. enough, fair enough. I'll just, I'll just... But I'm, downtime stuff is great, I'll be honest. Yeah. But, I'll, if, I'll... You got, but if you got a plan right now, now for today, I'm, I would be... I, I don't. I honestly don't have a plan, so right. I'm gonna just make it downtime. So let's. I'm gonna proceed to. Uh, we're gonna proceed to Dalmir. Sure. Or something. I I I don't really don't know what to do. So, can I instigate something then? Yeah. Where are we landing, Ezra? Dalmir, a little. Cliffside City, was the far north of Copia. You can actually see one of the northmost continents from the other side. Uh, there's some legends there. Scholars even call this place the God's Staircase. Yeah, let's just go there. So. Hmm. That's a funky name. Yes. It's also one of the few places that I frequently call home. Hmm. So. Okay. That's interesting. 
Hello? So, look, so apparently you know some a thing or two about this, and Cliff is holding up the th the Kieran horn. Well, I've not worked with horns before, but, um... And he's, like, looking at the tip of it. Looks like I could refine it down, maybe, into uh, a spearhead. Not sure the kind of magical properties that would have, but I could. If you so wanted. Anything you need for it? Hmm. I think I have enough stuff in the workshop downstairs to be able to make it. Oops, that's a lot of... But... Again, like I said, I'm not exactly sure how particularly the properties of this will take shape. You know, it could just be there we go. a blunt instrument, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. So... Hmm. I have to do a little more thinking on it. In the meantime, though, I am going to go check on Vel. She's been asleep for about three days now, and I'm worried about her. Feels as though that fight took a little more out of her than she'd like to admit. And uh, Ezra's going to go below deck. She, you know she can't sleep, right? Then why was she snoring on one of the hammocks in the back? Vel can actually sleep. She doesn't need to, but she can actually sleep. Oh, okay. Just so you know. Yeah. So, what does Ezra see when he gets downstairs? So, Vel is face down on the table. And her like, limbs are just dangling limply, like, <laughs> like at the edges. And her wings are drooping as well, just as much. Wait, so she's um, been, like, full ragdoll? Yeah, she's pretty much full ragdoll on that. And <laughs> this would be, like, the most she'll be able to see her wings, because usually when she's awake, they're moving constantly. Yeah. This is, like, the first time anyone would be able to, like, see her wings stop and all the damage that's done to them. <laughs> as they're just, like, looks and tilts his head. Well, good morning, sleeping beauty. You're finally up. Unfortunately. <laughs> you know, as a comrade, and what I'd like to think as a friend, I've been worried about you. I don't think I've seen you sleep since I've met you, so it was very yeah. concerning to see that. And no one decides to move me away from the table. Hmm. Well... <laughs> I figured let sleeping dogs lie, but... I would say something, but I'm not in the vicinity, I don't think. <laughs> You're definitely not. Yeah. I mean, Cliff is probably close enough to hear what's going oh, on. Oh, they're below the deck. You're below yeah, deck. they're below deck, but you could probably hear a little bit of it through the deck. How much of that do you think Cliff could hear? Uh, what's your perception? Literally, um, they're like right here, basically. Um, if you look at the top deck, like that's where they are, just below. Passive perception for Cliff. It's 13, right? Yeah, it's 13. That's probably not enough. All right, he, he's hearing the mumbling. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, velocity. Too far and looks up on that. Wow. When <laughs> you have a second, could I get you to help me with something in the forge? He's, this is, he's holding on to the uh, Kieran horn. Yeah, fine. She finally sit, like sits up on the table and like cracks all the bones in her body. Like, that's like, like, like oh, good Christ. That's Do like you good make stretch. that sounds every time you wake up? I literally have been laying here for three days straight. You try and lay down for three days straight and not be stiff as a fucking board. <laughs> I have, actually. I was frozen. Uh, via basilisk gaze for about two solid weeks. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced. Don't recommend it. Yeah, I don't usually sit still anyway. Uh, oh, oh, my wings are going to sleep. <laughs> what, do you need the blood to flow back to them? Do you want someone to rub your wings? Do not touch my wings. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you 
say? And he's already going down the way to the forge. Um, Val slowly falls behind. The one's walking there, because, as I say, her wings are asleep. <laughs> I want to make a gift for Cliff. I figure that old beat-up spear of his doesn't really have much left to give. And considering what this is, it's holding, you know, kind of like gesturing around with the Kirin horn, I think I might be able to make something out of it. Since I want you to need my help with Magical reagents often take an assisting partner. You know, to help balance out the flow of the weave around it. Just in case anything screwy happens. Fair enough. So, he, like, hands her a book. I would need you to read through that, and it, like, thumps onto the floor. It's one of those, like... You know, like, if you ever look at, like, the registry books in a library? Yeah. Yeah. I figure you've got all the time in the world to read, so... He just starts picking it up and just reading rapidly enough for each page. <laughs> like, very, like, rapidly. <laughs> I'll stoke the forge and get the materials that I need. And he starts to like put on like a smithing apron. <laughs> when and, you uh, literally only read and at night, you start getting a bit quicker at reading. Now I haven't read anything in a while. The last thing I read was The Tale of Two Cities. And I'm not gonna comment what's the last thing I read in that. <laughs> <laughs> So, we can bounce around here if anyone wants any other character interaction. Mm, well, that's it. Um, well, since, uh, you know, G um, Priest isn't here, uh, I don't think you can do anything with Jason. I was, you know, my, my thought is, like, once again, this may be a little annoying, but my, uh, my, <laughs> my, uh, my, might make more attempts at making cucumber water, and this time... Uh, unintentionally having my unseen servant do it and being like, well, what the? I can do that? <laughs> why, don't you just go on, I don't... why don't you just go on the kitchen and try to do that? Fair. Okay. Uh, then, uh, yeah, Sviete is going to just like... Uh, he's going to wake out of slumber. Uh, like, it's just a pool of like... Bleh. Uh, on the on the deck because I was so deep in sleep, and I'm just going to just immediately just shoot up, not in like surprise, but in just like that's my wake up animation, uh, and I'm gonna walk down <laughs> to the kitchen. Well, I'm just gonna walk down to the kitchen, and man's uh, got a one frame animation wake up. Yeah, he's got a wake up animation that's just one frame. <laughs> just yep. him t posing in between and standing up. Yep, that's hilarious. Uh, and then I'm gonna walk into the kitchen with full intent to make cucumber water. Myself. In the in, in the kitchen, you can see Jade's already chopping up some uh, ve veggies, and uh, Say. she's uh, already hard at work at uh, making uh, everyone mm -hmm. brunch. Ah, what kind of veggies are we talking? Maybe I can add them to the cucumber water for extra flavor. Uh, she's working on like a like a big salad. Ah, and uh, she kind of decided like something uh, help you know something healthy for everyone, something nice. Mm. Uh, and uh, is there any? And yes, cucumbers are indeed part of the salad. I mean, my cucumbers. <laughs> uh, she wouldn't know if they Maybe. were. Oh well, uh, I will. I'll just like I. I'll just. I won't investigate further. I'll trust because teammate. I think she understands the importance of cucumbers to me. But no, what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna look around to see if any ginseng. Maybe maybe just like to add extra like goodness. Well, are you gonna like, ask her to, if you could put some in there or? I. Wait, it would ginseng into my water, or like gin, would ginseng into the salad? <laughs> oh, uh, I, you didn't actually specify. <laughs> Fair, yeah. I well, no. What? Uh, I'm going to ask if we have any ginseng, so we can put it in with the water. Maybe make cucumber green tea water. Oh, you're gonna uh, to ask her if you have. Uh, you, uh, yeah, you asking her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 
Uh, hey, uh, Jay, do, do we have any, like, ginseng or any green tea-like uh, materials? Uh, I think so. Probably. I was just gonna, like, check the, um, ice box, because, you know, that's what they had before the fridges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so she, like, checks that, and then, you know, I'm gonna make an investigation check, see if they <laughs> have anything. I'm gonna give the help action. <laughs> So that's a 20. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I gave the help action. <laughs> so you have... Oh, looks like we have a little bit left. Sick. Uh, I'm going to just, like... For once in my life, and in and, and Sviete's life, uh, he's going to try and do it the tried and true way. He's going to cut up some cucumbers, cut up some of that ginseng, plop it in a, a large jar of water, shake it up a little bit, maybe a tiny bit, not much, and just let it sit. And it's going to just stare at it. Just stare at it for, like, ever. <laughs> Almost impatiently. Stare at it? Yeah. <laughs> so, while they're looking for the ginseng and getting everything all set up for themselves, Cliff is actually coming down, down the steps, and he's got a piece of paper and and a pencil in his or a pen of some a quill. No, no quill, quill, say. a big quill. Yeah, in yeah. his hand, along with some ink. And he's sit, he's he's leaning over the table and he's actually starting to draw a set of intricate patterns. Uh, that would with full of swirls, lines, dashes that all seem to start to interlock with one another. Does, uh, you guys don't know. You guys don't know what he's doing. Uh, yeah. Okay. You can I, ask. Just kind of busy, just preparing the um brunch right now. She's now she's making a uh, little uh <laughs> wraps of uh. What's oh, it? Oh. You know, you know, you know, you know, like like no you know, um sorry my head. <sighs> So you know how it's like a salad wrap. She's putting she's putting the the salad the, the salad into the wraps. Oh, like a veggie wrap. It's a veggie wrap. Yeah, she's she's, ah. she's being a little clever with her cooking. Sick. Yeah, I. You know what? I'll bite. Uh, I'm gonna just like. Is there a way to like kind of just sense in the air that someone's drawing some fucking patterns, or is that not a thing? You just you just see Cliff doing it. No, I mean, like, I'm staring at my jar. <laughs> he is staring at the so, jar. So what's your passive what's perception? Your perce what's your passive perception, then? Good question. Let me pull up my character sheet really quick. 15. <laughs> would, would he, from this distance, would he be able to see Cliff just doing little doodles? From this distance, he probably might. That, that, but, but that fully depends on if he sees him in, in his, uh, in, like, the back of his eye or something like that. Yeah, the peripheral. Peripheral. peripheral vision, yeah. What's it? Uh, for the for the hell of it, unless there's like I have to roll he, for something, we'll just say, yeah. He, he probably does see him in the peripheral vision. He's fo mostly focused on on the on the water, granted, but he probably like, yeah. He, he, like, he probably looks away for like a second and then sees him in his peripheral vision. It's like, oh, what's yeah. going on here? Kind of like that kind of second. Like I I smell interlocking designs being made. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, no, I'm have, going to just kind of. Oh, you probably smell the ink. Granted, you have a really good 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 nose. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to walk up and just kind of like look for a second, and then kind of just ask, "Hey, uh, what you doing?" Mm. Well, it's just sort of like he's he seems spaced out of it up until. Until you 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 ask him, hey, how how's he doing? No, what? Odd. Uh, what's so, you doing? What? Shit. <laughs> what are you doing? Not how are you doing? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Everyone yeah. always asks, what, what you doing? Well, um, <laughs> it's customary that when when a centaur dies, a funeral procession is done. Ah. Uh... During this that time, a you are to the ones closest to them are given. Painted with interlocking these interlocking patterns and designs. Ah, uh, so you're kind of like doing that thing. It's basically you... funeral. It, it's 
It's like war paint, but it's for a funeral. So yeah. you're like you're doing that thing where you plan out like a tattoo at, before you put it on you. It's more so a temporary tattoo. Ah. It's not. It's not meant to be permanent. Uh, okay. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, you have fun with that. Sounds certainly interesting. And I'm gonna just go right back to staring at the fucking water. <laughs> Though now this time I'm doing it while sitting this next is to Cliff. Fun for me. No. I mean, like with the context. However, like I don't know, drawing can be fun sometimes, even whenever it's because of bad things. <laughs> That's actually a fair Cliff's point. Cliff's eyes are narrowing at you. You have five <laughs> seconds to back away. Four. While I'm not even three. looking at you, I just take like three steps away. <laughs> Thank you. Meanwhile, what's Nestor doing? Is he just asleep, or...? He's just, um, trying to do his... He's basically trying to study various things, trying to figure out how... to do, do combinations, trying to do something to think of some way that he could use against, um, Dorian in the future. But, uh, you know, all of this, he's just been... Not, not resting while doing this, and his, his room's just a mess currently. Scraps of paper and whatnot around the ground, tossed, you know, crumpled pieces of paper here and there. His desk is a mess, but you're, like he you're heard... You're a dorm student right now, gotcha. <laughs> yes, and then he heard, like, Cliff talking to, um... Svete. Svete about the funeral, and he just... He remember, remember what happened yesterday, and it's recently, and he just went. <laughs> He's gonna just get up from his room and just gonna. He's gonna pull up a chair and just he, sit down right here. As you sit down, Cliff sort of looks up at you. Can I help you? I apologize. It's all my fault that this happened. If Nestor, it's not you. It's not all on you. It was me pulling something. I was the one who tried to put him in momentary stasis. I was the one who used. You were in the Nestor. You were in the right. You did what you thought could help, and it did. It's just that when she, he controlled her to tell her where it, what the mirror was, I panicked. I had to pull out my trump card, but even then, it was not enough. And, and I had nothing left to use, except one idea that could have worked, but even then, it might not have even been enough to phase him. Even if we do have, 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 have be able to find a way to get stronger, and I am, am able to use time stop, would it even be enough? Would we be too late now that he... Is in control of the Feywild? He is not in control of the Feywild. Cool. The god of the Feywild still lives. As long as at least one person, one person has faith in him, he still lives. You're right. That is a good... That's... I'm right. Sorry, I'm just in dire straits for, from the guilt of... What the cops fired. Nestor, and Cliff is actually gonna stand up and put your head in a, you in a in a bit of a headlock. Put his put his hand on your head and just sort of rub your head, hair all around. So nuggy. You got nuggy. nothing to worry about. <laughs> well, in any what case, you, what you did, you did with your heart, and that's all I could have asked for. <sighs> Thank you. He's gonna slap you on the back. Back but, but by the way, I heard what you doing with the f f preparing for the funeral. It's similar to how we humans wear black during a funeral. Is there anything I could do to help to prepare for this? At least let me do that. I need pigments, dyes, whatever you can muster. I'm pretty sure I can have something that I can that I can find in my room that I usually use for potion compo spell components. I'll see what I can find. And he goes into his room to do just that. Okay, so um, let's cut back to um, Val and uh, Ezra. So, 
Ezra's just been standing there for like a solid like ten minutes now, just like staring at this horn. Uh, all you're gonna hear is just a book slamming shut. It's like done. This perfect. I'm still not sure how to approach this though. It's a very delicate object. The right amount of heat. Like a potentially turning into some sort of Damascus. But... And if it has something to do with heat and that, we could always ask a freeze to see if he would help. Like, well, with a bit of information. Mm. The pain in the ass he has. <laughs> I don't feel like gambling. I don't think it's the right situation to be in right now. Fair enough. Above board, Savete does still have those those gambling chips in there. Yeah, no, I still have a couple in there. He yeah, does, but it's not many. <laughs> not many, but... <laughs> yeah. I also... Yeah, I mean, if it's, it's for simple information like that, I mean, yeah. you might be you might be able to get it off them. I also still have proficiency with playing cards, so I could mm -hmm. just, like, fucking try again at getting more. That's, that's, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Spectre I think I have my idea. Okay. He like, picks it up, he takes the tongs, and he starts to get to work forging it. I will do. When I get the billet ready, all of the magic that you can muster without blowing this up like a zeppelin. <laughs> uh, I need you to pour it into the steel. Sound good? Oh, so pour magic into objects without blowing everything up. Got it. And he like puts it onto the anvil. He like sets the Damascus like forge well. And he looks to Vel and he goes. Now this is the key point. Just a little bit of magic, not too much. You said right. much magic than I could before. Now you're saying not much. <laughs> you're really it's, indecisive. It's a very fickle process. Do you know how many times it took me to forge this arm before I got it right? I'll, I'll pour it in as much as I can. You just tell him to stop. How about that? That works. You're going to feel potentially uncomfortable doing this. I feel uncomfortable every day of my life. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> like something's pulling your magic from you. When you feel as though you can't do it anymore, that's when you should stop. I'll be fine. He like twirls the hammer in his hand. He's like, let's get to work then. Okay. And the rhythmic sound of the hammer hitting iron just starts to ring through the lower decks of the Estrella. Cliff and everyone above them can start to hear it. Oh, oh what's going on yeah. down there? Um, you know, Jade kind of like asks the others. That's probably my Kieran horn. Mm. Your Kieran horde, your Kieran horde makes those noises. Whatever it is, they're making with it. Uh, they're making something with it. Well, uh, Vicar did say I should ask Ezra what to do with it, and Ezra thinks we can make something of it. Huh. Well, when they're done, they'll they'll be probably hungry. So, I'll just save them some of these. Uh, so she just. Like put puts the, um two um of the um salad wraps that she made in the ice box, <laughs> and then she like puts down uh two salad wraps, one for Savete and one for Cliff, onto onto the table. Sustenance. Cliff doesn't eat his. He's too focused on getting everything on this right. That's it. 
Uh, I've used one of my cucumbers on the cucumber water. I just, like, began brewing. So that means I have two left. I mean, you don't have to really worry about that because she, she used cucumber. Uh, um, you don't know if it's your cucumbers in it or, or not, but, like, technically it's it, it has cucumber in it. Fair. And it's, uh... uh well... Oh wait, I know a thing. Do we? <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, do we have any buffalo sauce on board? Uh, uh probably not. Well, damn it. No, that's I mean, fine. Actually, you may have some left over from the Cure's feast, but it's pretty unlikely. Ah, damn. If it was used on the boar stew, no. <laughs> oh no, it was. It was used on a buffalo. It was used on a. It sauce was used on that god awful salad. Alyssa. Yeah, it was used on a salad from last time. It's probably, my, it's probably been thrown out by now. Yeah, oh my, my, listen, my palate is a very radiated and, like, random thing. Don't worry about it. No, but uh, in that case, I'll just, like, begin to crunch and munch on it. Above game, I swear, Savete is worse than a goat sometimes. Listen here. <laughs> I, I, ha I have, I have like, limits. However, like, they're for stuff that isn't, like, problematic. It's for stuff that's, like, I've yeah, had it 20,000. You're definitely not going to eat a cannon one of these days. I, I'll eat a cannon. It's just, it's just like, steak. I said Dude, a can. Oh, I mean, like, that's also, like, I don't want to hurt my teeth. <laughs> I know I just said I'd eat a cannon, but like I don't want to hurt my teeth on my can. <laughs> you, you don't want, but you, you you'll you, eat a cannon, but you won't eat a can. You'll eat a bed yeah. too. Gladly. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I would. He eat the bed. I did. He did I eat, did. The eat the bed. He he's a he's a goat. It's official. <laughs> he's a goat. <laughs> I may be a fo I may be a fox, but wow. I'm a billy goat. I may be a fox, but I'm a, but I'm a billy goat. <laughs> so. What feels like a couple hours go by, Ezra and Velocity finish up this, like, hard to describe flat blade that kind of, like, curves up into a point. Mm. I guess now to figure out the best way to fix this for him. Thank you, though. Appreciate that. Yeah, no, we're just smoking again. <laughs> if you ever find yourself in need of some busy work I think you'd pick a good craftsman yeah, I could help with my money if you need <laughs> rather Jaden uh, kind of like like, uh, like, like yells down to the down the stairs, like, hey, two, do you want some brunch? Depends. Well, he, like, takes the, like, eight-pound fucking blade, picks it up, and just, like, slings it on his shoulder. Might as well go show him the craftsmanship, eh? Mm -hmm. Let's go up there. I'm going to, like, yell down, uh, comboing with, uh, Jade yell down, and just say, it vegetal wrap. <laughs> It tastes good. I think Sviat is having a stroke. Why <laughs> <laughs> <That's> not? <laughs> they like come up the stairs, velocity first, Ezra second. He's got this like massive, like stark white Damascus blade in his hand. Oh my. Yeah. That's a. Uh... I've no idea what I plan to do with it yet, Cliff. And he, like, sets it on the table in front of him. But that's yours. Cliff is just dumbfounded looking at this thing. That was the Kieran horn? It was. A little bit of really good quality steel, though. Nothing more than that. So, my question is more so how you want to use it. I figure lance, but I don't think I can get that into the shape for it. No, definitely more Not like that. I was thinking glaive, but... I don't think I've seen you use one of those before. 
I tried when I was a kid, didn't really like it. So thrusting then, it like makes the, the like jabbing motion. Let me put it this way, when you, when the centaur is back to back with someone, they are at their best. If you, do you, are you aware of the uh, que question, would Spartans be a c certain thing in this world? Um, could probably call them like Myrmidons. They'd probably be called call Myrmidons, actually. They're all gladiators and stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, those. Well, I've uh... I've never seen how they fight. I, I think that would be a good example of it. We, he we reaches... We watch each other's back. We guard the flanks. Gotcha. He reaches into his pouch and he like pulls out a tape measure, and he goes from like Cliff's shoulder all the way down to his finger. Not too long of a shaft. Do you have a preferred wood? Mm. I was thinking cool. mahogany, something firm, something strong, <laughs> resilient even. <laughs> Uh, Something I can best, stain and make beautiful. The best wood I can think think of is back home, but I don't think we're ever gonna be able to get go there anytime soon. Nonsense! I can send a crow out in the morning. What are you looking for? Come on, speak. There's a tree in the. It's not at the citadel, it, far from it. Hmm. There's a tree in the in the um in the fort in the winterlands. Are Cid you talking about Winter White Oak by any chance? Uh it's a variant of it, but yes. Hmm. And I know some of the Carvers at the Lake of Trades have at least some backstock of Winter White Oak. I don't know if any of them be willing to go to the Feywilds right now, though. That's the problem. I would not expect anyone to. But that stuff has been... But that was has been stuff grows like wildfire in the, in the Winterlands. Hmm. It's very resilient, very strong. And at times, very durable. Yes. I'm between those two. I was thinking mahogany more for the contrast with the blade. If that makes sense. And that I was going to potentially tie. Well, that's tie. what I was saying. See, the variance I'm thinking of, the bark is, is bricks white, yes. But the inside color is more of an ebony. It's... It's known as a cursed white oak. Hmm. It's still, and don't, don't get me wrong, it has nothing to do with curses. It's just that there are evils in the Feywild, and that tree seat has a natural-born immunity to them. Thus, those that have, have tried to use it for nefarious purposes have cursed it and to have this blackened, blackened interior. Interesting. I'll have to look into that for you. And then what I was also thinking was, and don't be upset, but one of the gentlemen that I worked with has managed to procure the mane of a unicorn at one point. I'm sure that you're aware of the magical um, properties. Yeah, I'm sure I'm well aware of that. Um, how? I don't normally ask questions, but that one struck my interest. Um, apparently he stumbled upon a passing one. One that was dying? Correct. One beyond saving, even. The horn, of course, has been put to good use. And the body, definitely blessed by paladins of clerics. But the hair, he's been having a hard time getting rid of. I have it downstairs. I had been meaning to use it for something. Oh, now you me is it. I was thinking some dressing for the spear. 
That would be nice. Good. He looks to the rest of the, the people that are down, up and awake. Mm -hmm. How are you all doing? I'm doing all right. I'm just, you know, keeping busy. That's good. If water is brewing, eventually I will have cucumber and green tea water. So Ezra just like walks up. And meets I'm him eye I'm, level. I'm I'm defensively grabbing the bottle. <laughs> and he just kind of like smiles and like gently puts his hand on his head. That's good. That's really good. My face just goes into default. I don't know how to handle this, so I just kind of shut down for a second. <laughs> he he like gives fight. he gives Vel a look, and then takes the blade off the table. And then heads back downstairs. Right then, I'll be back in a bit. Hey, Ezra. Hmm. What color is that hair? Hmm. Well, I could stain it anything you wanted. No, That'd no. be up to you. No, no. Y yes, you can stain it, but hmm. each unicorn from from the different corners of the Feywild has that had this has this natural sheen to it. What color is that sheen? Iridescent, almost mother of pearl. I figure staining it would also cost it to impart some of that little shine to it. That's, yeah. <clears throat> Go with red. Right. Well, I'll be off then. He, like, heads downstairs. He starts to get to weaving for this uh, particular thing. On that note, I have to go step out for a bit, so I'll be back in a moment. Right, I'll take over. <laughs> mm. Okay, so, let's see. What is um, Quiff doing right now? Oh, we're not Quiffing. Uh, what's Nestor doing right now? He's fought for, he's, it took him a bit, but he, uh, should I roll something or we, could we just say he found the pigments and whatnot that Cliff is looking for or things that could be used for pigments? I'll just actually, uh, yeah, roll, roll a bit. Okay. What would that be? Uh, search <sighs> investigation. Uh, yes, of course. I'm proficient in that. Okay. No, I'm not, but I do have a high enter. You find a good bit of it. You find a good, right. good bit of the things. You're not, you don't find everything, granted. But you find almost everything you need. All the, right. The, the one thing you're, you're missing is the bells. Uh, fortunate. Well, uh, we'll have to find this bell somewhere else. Bells. I'm for uh, What? Bells. Uh, bells? Bells. Yeah, you, you, don't, you can't find any bells. But you, but everything oh. else you got you got. Yeah. Uh, he needs bells. Game. Cliff didn't say mention anything about bells yet. He, oh, he didn't. Okay, so he, so no. so so what was it you needed? Can you tell me he, again. He asked Nestor for for pigments, dyes, and paints. So yeah, he found all that. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and he just puts that, but he comes back like holding them on the table. All right, it took me a bit, but I managed to find them. These should have work su su suffice. Pretty. Funeral tattoos. Thank you. Well, I suppose I should. I think I need to take a break. I've been stressing myself over trying to think of a way to beat Dorian. Uh, he's lost, literally lost sleep over it. And yes, he's sir. just about to collapse. He's just like stumbles a bit while walking. Yes, Cliff. Don't push yourself too hard. Don't beat yourself up over what happened. The centaurs back home knew the risk. They took them. We fight. We fight every day there. Right. Sorry, but as he, he's going inside, lock the door. He's just before falling asleep. He was lying down. He remembers what Adorian said, Inessus boy, and he's just wondering how did he know about that. 
I mean, he, of course he knew about that, but what was he about to say? No, no, he's just, he was just trying to get it into my head. That's why he, you, you, uh, that's why I had to s shut him up before he could, could, could just put more lies into my head just so he can mess with me. You're just, you're, you're just, you've been too, I can't even get my words right. I have my thoughts straight. You just need to rest. You just need to sleep. And he just like, bump, uh, just puts a blanket over him and just goes to sleep. It just turns his head to the wall. Just tries to go to sleep. Huh. <laughs> that was for Vel. Just a moment of, of hesitation. Yeah, a bit of a Yeah. Vel and Tevete, um, tell me what you guys, you, you two are doing since you're right, right next mm. to each other. How much time has passed? I'd say about an hour. Okay, because from a, from a quick Google search, apparently that's like how long it takes for the cucumber to seep into the water. Uh, so I'm not, so I'm now just gonna kind of like the uh, I'm not exactly thirsty right now, so I'm just gonna put it back in the fridge. Uh, the no, ice box. Ice box, yeah, exactly. There's no, yeah, no yeah, fridge, yeah. but yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Uh, the ice box, and you know what? You know what? I'm gonna strike up a conversation with the with the fairy gal, uh, because hell yeah. Uh, so I'm going to just like walk up to Vel and just kind of. Oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> yeah. I can't have a good conversation if I don't get any closer. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, but no, I, I'm gonna walk up to you and kind of just like, uh. Because I don't know much about you, just because I'm just gonna stare at you for a couple seconds uh, while trying to be like covert about it. Because I know if I stare at you and you know about it, it's gonna get weird. So I'm, if you don't know, then I'll be fine. I mean, you're literally within five feet of me, and I am looking like right I'm literally you. looking in that direction. So Damn. I am going to notice you. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. So, well, and so... I'm just. <laughs> then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stare at you. Then it looks like I am about to start like about to say something, but I'm like deliberating on like what to say. Oh, he just takes a deep breath on her uh, pipe and breathes out again, and just looks directly at. He's like, need something. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Conversation points. Let's go. All right. So, uh. I'm going to just kind of, like, ask, uh, Svete is going to ask, just like, hey, so, uh, how, how are you doing? How, how's, how's life, you know, as, as a fairy? Because I've never, I've, maybe a little bit obvious, but I've never been a fairy, so what's it like? <laughs> uh, depends on who you're really asking that. If you'd ask me or not, eternal suffering. If you'd ask other people, it's quite fun. Why? Why is it eternal suffering? Well, depending on who your parents are, depends on how much of a fucking disastrous life you have. <laughs> I can see the issue here. Okay, I all literally right. was born. I got killed by my own mother, and then I ah. blew up the fucking Feywild. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like um, great. No. I I never met my I never met my parents. I just kind of was, like whenever I the first memories I have, they're not involved. I don't even know what they look like or how they sound like, but I mean, like, I being a fox is pretty cool. Cliff is gonna chime in on this. Not only that, but fairies also go by family lineages. The mm. the high, the more well off your family is, the be the higher tier you are. It's basically just a social ladder. Mm, okay. Um, we have no idea who my family is, and that, and the, well, with the fairy type, any well, the fairy, you know, lineage at least, because mm. I completely obviously destroy everything. <laughs> Ah, I see. Well, there's literally no record left. <laughs> second, second question. Second Which is question. Why they were all pissed at you? Yeah, that and you know the several thousand people I killed. Yeah. Uh, second question. How mm -hmm. do you get your hair to look like that? It's genuinely glamorous, and I'm, I, I, I wanna. Do you have any tips? Do you use like a special kind of like uh, magic or any kind of? I don't know. That's uh, natural. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally, it's literally just natural. <laughs> ah, sick. 
I have not brushed my hair in several years. Maybe she's worth it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like, I have literally I just want to say, I come back, and like, Sviete is over here going, so what's it like being a fairy? And all I hear is Nera just like, in the back of her mind going, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was kind of laughing at it too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, third and final question before I uh, go back to st uh, just like uh, uh, standing in the corner and existing. Uh, so like, uh, ma fuck it. Uh, <laughs> um, so like, what's your favorite color? I think that'd be obvious. <laughs> I'll just look at the outfits. You hear stone. <laughs> Coming from Cliff as he slow turns his head what, over you, to Savete. You mean the stone grinding noise from Spongebob? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Jay looks like directly at Savete and looks like the kind of dead pants and fa face palms. And you, you, you almost you, heard, uh, you could almost hear Ezra going, Really? <laughs> of all the questions you could have asked, that's what you ask. I mean, I would ask what's in your, uh, like, if you would mind Puff Puff and, and Passin, but I don't know if fairies have the stronger whack a gack than, like, most people. Um, <laughs> you wanna have, do you want to have a go with the uh, pipe? Sure. Oh. <laughs> okay. okay. She passes oh, the pipe no. over to you. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is uh, gonna be good. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna, like... What's it? Uh, first, I'm going to ask, like, okay, so does this, like, is this one of the ones that uses lighter, or is it, like, magical, so it doesn't need one? Oh, it's just magical. Don't uh, worry. Okay, then I'm going it's to, like... type of constant burning. Sick. Then I'm just going to, like, put it to my lips, you know, like, like you would uh, a thing, and I'm just gonna, like, inhale. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, roll me five constitution saving throws. <laughs> I was, I was expecting say, this. I was expecting. Wait, I was, I was actually going to say one, but here, uh, Ruski just says five. Wow. Okay, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what if happens. If any of them fail, you fail the whole roll. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fuck. You fail. Uh, you fail. You don't you even get not... past the first drag, and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> You fall Easy the... there, Savete. That shit's powerful. Trust me. This wackity gack is kind of kind of schlappy. Well, you... Val just looked over a clip and said, "How the fuck do you know me? I've literally never gave you a go." I can tell by the sm I can just tell by the smell of it. Just... Really? You can tell it's just sulfur. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's probably if okay. just anyone that would know what sulfur smells like, it would be Ezra and Velocity. Is it literally just actual smoke off a fire that Val inhales the whole time? <laughs> That's all their pipe is It's on. literally just carcinogens. It ju it's, it's literally just sulfur? Really? Did Jade actually it's ask that? It's literally yeah. just sulfur. No, Jade actually asked that. But yeah, it is literally just that. So it's yeah, wait. Me relax. <laughs> wait, so I just inhaled something that could give me cancer? <laughs> then I'm just gonna like. <laughs> the, the, the cancer yeah. exist. The, the, the cancer oh, yeah. exist then? The, I mean, like, it would exist if not just a disease, but it's considered a disease. Yes. I mean, there's magic, so I'm sure you can cure cancer in D&D. &D, I mean, um, they'll, they'll, they'll get you sick. You just like, they'll, they'll get you sick, you just you say. Because I don't think you, you just gotta ask your friendly neighborhood paladin to lay on hands and it's gone. True. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. <laughs> If I pray hard enough, this brain tumor will just go away. No, uh. Since <laughs> I pray hard enough, the cancer in my testicle if, will go if away. Only, <laughs> if only. Right. Well, well, yeah, no, uh, or, or well, I'm, I'm just or, gonna. Sorry, go ahead. Well, you, 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 no, you go ahead. If you, or just have you just kick it out of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> What's it? Okay, so now, uh, I'm just gonna, like, uh, hand back the the pipe with like both hands in a kind of like in the way that like a knight would like pass its sword to the uh to like the king. person, yeah <laughs> that in that way uh, I'm I'm just passing the pipe back. You no, just you just, just, just picks it back up. <laughs> you're just like holding the sword out like as if you 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 <laughs> like you're holding it like 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 wing kind of thing or. No, no, like with both hands, we're like the middle, 
Yeah, presenting. Presenting, yeah. presenting it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how I hand things back to people. But no, uh, and I'm just going to, like, walk it towards the corner and kind of just ruminate on uh, top the top of that you just, The fact that you just inhaled smoke. <laughs> you just I mean, inhaled uh, smoke. I mean, like, kind of, but also nah. I have definitely, <laughs> like, okay, that was not some wackety gack. That did not. That, 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 that wasn't at all good. So what was day, that? Um, yes? Since you feel that, that, that con save, you have now a disadvantage for one hour. On all d20 rolls. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Uh. Well, that's fine. Uh. Anyways. After... Uh, anyways. Um. After an hour passes, it go away. It goes away. Sick. All right. <laughs> you <laughs> now have disadvantage on everything. Okay. There we go. It's gone. I, yeah. That that's a joke because like just, we're still we're still on the airship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see. Nestor's asleep. Quiff is writing up his stuff. Uh, what's Ezra doing? He is weaving together that uh, unicorn hair into this long, sort of like flowing, like um, strap that runs along the length of a like temporary band of wood. Just so he can get the measurements correct. I forget. This 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 ship is, is on autopilot, right? Yes. It's it's magic. Ezra has calcul. Yeah, Ezra has calculated the trajectory to get us to where we need to go. It's a magical. Also, it's, it's a magical ship, so it just it just it yes. just follows directions based on input. Yeah, I would also well, think that Tinker, Tinker messed with it. So yeah, long Tinker ago. gave Ezra um, the. Uh, like necessary tutorial. charting tutorial on how to get this ship to fly where on it needs a, to go on its own. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, Broder being here actually mattered. So. Yes. So Tinker actually did impact the story, and. Yes. If, if, that's that's I mean that works like. Yeah. T- technically, every character yeah. that was in this campaign. Impacted the story, even if in they correct. were, they perform, even if they were, even, uh, you know, not in the campaign anymore. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, yes. Use, like Yusuke's gauntlets were previously from a, from someone who was like that before. You know, yes. and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, the ship was actually from someone who who was not <laughs> is not here anymore. Yeah. Yep. It's like Mortal yeah, Kombat literally, like we ha- we are messing movies. with everyone else's hand me downs. Kind of, I mean, kind <laughs> of, <laughs> but it's 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 perfect. I think like this is this is how it progresses. Yeah. Uh, but you know what I mean. This is how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, as the autopilot, you know, the ship, you know, kind of comes to a stop. You can. I would say about after an hour. That means your thing. That means your thing goes away now. Um, Savete. Say. <laughs> I'm no longer in fear, but I still am in fear. So. Because he doesn't know. Because what? Because he doesn't know. Doesn't know what? I mean. Uh, it doesn't know that it's gone. I guess in character, I don't know that it's gone yet, but I wouldn't even know. I. I don't. Did I feel like? No, this for whatever long? reason, you felt like you were. Inebriated, even though you weren't inebriated. Oh, I get it. Like I may have had a bad hit, but I still felt like I was off in Ganja Town. Yeah. You feel like that you were relieved, as if like, as if like okay. you were sober, kind of, sobered, kind of. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. I, I, I sobered up from the from the wackety gack in that damn yeah. pipe. Yeah, kind of like that, like that. You, you sobered up. Yes. I've never actually you know, been in like a situation like that. But... Oh, I have. I can tell you. Yeah, you calm down. <laughs> you calm down. Yeah. You cal- you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we'll just say that you cal- you calm down. Yeah, I, I, I calm down from the clouds. The clouds being uh, pain because I just inhaled smoke. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you guys arrive, and. Uh... 
do you decide to stop in? Down here now? I mean, feeling that the ship has, like, jerked to a stop. As we're probably taking off those, like, goggles that he has when he's in the forge. Like, wipes his eyes, looks down at his craftsmanship and goes, Oh, yes. It's all coming together now. Hell yeah. It's all coming together. And, like, he heads upstairs, folding up his apron and setting it somewhere uh, oh, yeah. over yonder. It's all come together. <laughs> yeah, like somewhere over yonder and heads up to the deck. And proceeds to start to land the ship. Mm-hmm. I'll move you, should I move you all to the map then? By the way, sure. I, I got a question for you. What's up? Uh, I know I kind of picked the name for the ship. Uh, do you like the name? It's straight as fine. Because, like, I didn't actually, you know, ask your opinion on, me, on it before. But, like, it feels like I could have made kind of made something different, but I think it's Potentially, that's... but it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I think it's a good name. Anyways, let's let's put you guys on the map. Somewhere. How about over here? Are we, wait, question. Are we doing the funeral thing right now? Or, no, I'd no, rather do no. It. Okay. Let's, let's wait till Freeze shows up. And if uh, that's at yeah. all. This is the beach episode now. Mm. I know. I, I, I would, I would, but, you know, Freeze isn't here, so... It's going to have to be Don't beach. Do... Don't want to do the cool things. Uh, the, you know, the important things when it happens. Uh, yeah. When people are missing. You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> so, uh, Nestor, um, do you want to get on the map too? Oh, I I need to drag my stuff. Where are oh, we putting our... Oh, we are put... that's the landing pad. Okay, good to know, good to know. Have... Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Thank you, fam. Jay? My attention span is really tiny. Yeah. Why, oh. Savete? <laughs> what? I didn't do anything. Wide. Oh, wide. I thought you said why. No, wide. <sighs> That's what I said. <laughs> Hell yeah, wide Savete. Let's go. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna see if I can play a date, play a decent uh, theme for this place. Uh. How's jungle sound for you? It's a really decent. a jungle. Something a little more like... Uh... I mean, the jungle could be nearby. Yeah, this one's fine. Yeah, there's flaps. I think this is jungle, too, so... Squat. So, it's named jungle, but this, but the... But it's like supposed to be like a, the starting area um, a theme. Yeah. Yeah, we got you. Well... Oh. It's been a while since I've been home. Which Probably should have shaved. Maybe. That one. And he points to, like, the big one in the center. It's actually not mine. Could say it's a friend of mine's. Oh. And, like, you see, like, a commoner look over and they're like, Master Brightsell, you've returned! Master? And they, and they, like, walk up and they, like, shake his hand. Yes. <laughs> and like, oh no, crowd starts to form around Ezra. Ah! They kind of, they kind of like push the others out of the way kind of thing. Hey, 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 hey. And Cliff is like literally pushing through them back. <laughs> hey, easy. <laughs> Don't worry. The people here are very friendly. I technically am the lord of this small little establishment, but Whoa. not here very often. Can I get a discount? Discount? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we actually buying things here? Like, what, 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 no, I, I, no, I I, heard Lord of Establishment and I thought ooh, so he's he's like... He, he, he is the person who has the most land here. Ah, okay. That he's the Lord of the land. Ah, okay, okay. The he's landlord, like, if you will. He, he's landlord. the person with the highest... Yeah, he's the person with the highest percentage of shares in this area. I bet Tinker would still, he says he would be 
quite interested to learn that about you. <laughs> <sighs> you are all free to explore. I definitely need to go check on something real quick, then. Uh, I'm gonna, but before hey, you go anywhere. Find you if you, if oh. we need you. Right over there. Middle house of the center. Uh, what's uh, I Before you, you leave, like, you... I would mm -hmm. like to ask something. What's uh, that, good boy? So, first question. Uh, so this place... I see the... It, it's built on a cliff, right? Yes. Okay, damn Sheer it. cliff. Rocks at the bottom. Pointy damn. rocks. <laughs> okay, well... It, uh, it's certain here. death if you fall off. Oh, I thought it was just be like, hey, you know? Diving board. <laughs> no, no it, it's like 400 feet up. Fuck. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, like, never mind you're then. going to hit terminal velocity and die if you hit the wall. Never mind then. I don't even like. No. I no, didn't want stand. to jump off that properly. <laughs> that is unless you have feather fall. <laughs> I do. I yeah. That's I mean, not gonna work for. for I also board. just can't get back up if I wanted to come. If I wanted to go down. Yeah, I don't think you should do that. Besides, yeah, damn it. Besides, I think we you do have to take the long way down if you want to go back down there. Damn, I was excited to get like a swimsuit. We can just, I think for a second. What's things, a swimsuit? Uh, suit for swimming. I have you. I've had to use one before in, a, in an operation. Uh, and by that. It... Cliff is literally looking at, just looking at you, confused as to what the fuck you're talking about. It's something you wear when you go swimming. Yes. Why? It's something you wear when you go into water. In the distance, you hear Ezra laughing and picking up children. Wait, laughing at... Wait, laughing... Like, actually like... laughing. Okay, I was gonna say, laughing at, like, what was just said and consequently picking no, up no, children. No, 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 no. Like... Like, so, like, there's kids, like, circling around him. Ah, okay. And he, like, picks a couple of them up. And he starts to walk off in the uh, like towards the main house. Just, he's actually just he's just generally he's generally happy kind of thing. Sick. Yeah. Okay. How about we just go um, toward the beach area in the meantime? I'll I'll for a second things. Um, I'll get us down there. Ah. So I'm actually gonna take a, a look at, at things from the cliff side here for. I'll meet you guys down there. So, yeah, we can just get on the airship and, and just move down there. Ah, sick. The mom just looks over and just says, I can just meet you down there. Are you sure? I can fly. <laughs> oh, that's right. It'd take can. her a while, but she could fly. It would take you a while, though. I'm just glad. All she needs to do in that is fall 100 feet, then just start flying again. Fall ah. another 100 feet, then fly again. Then fall another 100 feet, then fly again. So then the... fall 50 feet, and then just fly the rest of the way down. Okay. So it will not take that long. <laughs> so, the, so the Breath of the Wild paraglider grinds. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so... For non-combat, I got a question, um, Rescue. What's that? Could I use my Dance of the Storms to make everyone fly? for non-combat, just to get them down. I don't see why not. But she has to keep it going. Yeah. But, it, no, so, I know, but it's just to get everyone to fly true. for non-combat. Wait, hold on. Mean, I, she, oh. mean, she can fly too, but it's... it's the it's, spell fly and gaseous form could also work. She doesn't have that spell. I'm just saying, saying that those are the, the other two options we have if we have them. We don't have that option. Alright. I actually have a question about dances. This is maybe, like, not the right time to ask it, but... Uh, um, So, to keep the effect going, do you have to keep dancing? Or is it just, like, once you dance, it, like, the effect I have lasts, to keep lasts for so long? I have to keep dancing. Okay. It's concentration. That's why oh. I'm asking Rescue for his opinion. If I can do an out of combat situation, where I can just make everyone fly, and not and not have to require content, and not have to require concentration. Well, I don't see why there's an issue with it, but normally there would be caravans coming in and out of the city. 
So like you guys could take a caravan ride down. Oh, that's if you wanted that's to. true. Actually, we could take a caravan. Hey, yeah. Cliff being a caravan specialist. <laughs> oh, yeah. true. That's true. This is more so for you guys to explore the city and get to know a little bit more uh, about that's it. That's fair. I'm yeah. sorry. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, we're case... still gonna do the beach stuff, but it's more so exploring. In oh, so case... Cliff has actually walked past a few of these people. I've, I've got, I'd wager that that he's turned a few heads along the way. I mean, I'm actually, pretty sure. surprisingly so. They're very comfortable around you. I'm pretty sure that the only people, if, if they're comfortable around Cliff, they're probably comfortable around everyone else too. Yeah, yeah. everyone's like just smiling, waving, going, hello. You so... must be. They like they actually ask. You must be this person every now and again. Yes. Sir. Like a couple people actually ask. You must be Cliff. Uh, yes. Uh, how how do you? Oh, well, you're in Dalamir. But you know, home place of Mr. Brightsell himself. But one of his most trusted confidants, Lady Nightingale. He keeps correspondence with her very often, and she tells us of you guys' exploits. Oh. Must say, what? I would hate to be on your bad side. I wonder what they've heard about me. Tell me, where's the highest point in this town? R right there. And she points to like the like sheer cliff top of the middle of it, over at like up this way. Right there. You're right. You're right there. Yeah. 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 yeah but I was just getting back to the point. Thank you. And he's going to move on up there. You feel like when you stand there that the world feels slower. The breeze blows against you a little bit more calmly and everything. You feel like there's a reason maybe why Ezra chose this place to live. around and just like kind of likes it here this is there's like a jewelry little store like a window there's some like handcrafted jewelry of a bunch of beautiful gemstones in the window there's a uh, there's like a weavers uh stand off to the side with some beautiful silken gowns she looks at like all this stuff and like in the other areas like I could use a few new clothes but I'd have to uh, I'd use this I'd use press dissertation quite a few times <laughs> it wasn't velocity <laughs> you see a magic shop with a uh, a, uh, a, w a sign in the window that says now continual flame in stock now what? Continual now flame. stocking continual flame. What the fuck is that? It's a fire that never stops burning. Ooh. <laughs> it's a fire that never stops burning. <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> I figured. Yeah, I think you'd be interested in that. It's basically, Amater it's basically Amaterasu from Naruto. It's worse than that, actually. Technically. Because uh, it's fire that never stops burning, but it doesn't do make heat. Yeah. Uh, As you guys walk around and you're stopped and you're like addressed by the common folk. I'm, I wonder what, what Nestor would see. Yeah, what would Nestor, Nestor see? Nestor is probably gonna go to. Just what? gonna walk around, say hi to the features, and just to what? look around. What, what, would, what would Nestor see, uh, Rescue? Nestor! You see a library. Nothing big, but nothing small. And you look at it, and one of the pa like the people passing by goes, Oh! Is it Nestor or Ios? I'm not sure. The fact that they know uh, both names, it might be. <laughs> it's so technically both, both, but although I prefer to go with the name that, um, my uh but it doesn't matter not to 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 be a name is just a name after all even if it was fr from given to my mother or by my adoptive father yeah this uh the, the, this female lizard folk kind of like chuckles at you 
What do you prefer? I haven't really decided myself, actually. Well, identity is often the first step to figuring out a lot of things, especially that of the arcane. You'll do well to remember that young one. And you see her walking into the library. And he's gonna walk in as well, Shook sings it. So inside is a very, it's like, not like a huge library, but these are some old books after looking. Like books from thousands of years ago. <laughs> that would be pretty interesting, I bet. Yeah, and the, 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 the librarian walks up and she goes, Oh dear, I've never seen you here. You must be that boy that Mr. Ezra travels with. What was your name? Was it Jason? No, no, no. Parker? No, no, no. I can't uh, I look like a Peter? Parker. Nestor, actually. That's the one. Well, if you're a friend of Mr. Ezra, I'm sure that you'll be able to peruse his personal collection as you see fit. This is his collection? Yes. Well, he's a scholar, of course. Why do you think the people of Candlekeep like him so much? <laughs> well, I so say I shouldn't be surprised, but uh, he always finds a way. That he does. That he does. Of course, proves to your liking. Thank and you. she, like, steps away. He's gonna, and he's gonna take the opportunity to look through various books uh, on magic that he that nest, that, that in Ezra's collection. Perhaps, <laughs> he, especially some, some ones involving time magic, because he thinks that might help him be able to figure out how to use time stop. You actually do happen to find a book. It's unlabeled, and it's leather-bound. And it looks like it's tattered and worse for wear, but the pages on the inside are fine. And you see that it's actually a journal in Ezra's handwriting. Mm. Oh. Would you like to know some of the contents of this journal? Sounds tempting. I, I, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. Not even for the magic, but just like, hey, yo, what's this man? <clears throat> I, what, what is it? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm curious. Man. The journal starts. What well, he's gonna just, uh, just, he's gonna just curiously open it and see. Just the journal starts, and it almost seems to be a recollection of some sort of story he's telling about a far flung off land covered in sand in the middle of a desert just this pure beautiful oasis pyramid in the center palm trees everywhere uh it's a it's a place by the name of luma right he spoke about how working there under the the court of the lumen sages he developed something called interplanar travel uh, the rest of it seems to be notes and descriptions of this very complicated spell some parts of it are missing but from the little bits of the journal entries that he's speaking about it and all of what you can piece together something's not sitting right with you in that this book may be real, or it may just be Ezra's ramblings. Odd. You're not sure. You could ask him. Ooh, this is odd. Um, you can keep the book on you if you'd like. He's gonna just put the book back and just cl uh, close it and just gonna look around. Yeah, so another book you find is a copy of Mordekainen's Joy of Interdimensional Spaces. <laughs> um, it's a book about pocket dimensions, surprisingly. How to create your own. 
it lists the detailings of Mordenkaiden's private sanctum, uh, Liaman's tiny oh. hut. Oh, that's some good ones. Those are some so, good If you have the requisite GP, um, these count as spell scroll. What spell scroll of what? Mordenkaiden's private sanctum. Yeah. Technically, we you didn't... can literally make a fortress for us that no one can enter, but yeah. except for us. Yeah. We we wouldn't just have be... we wouldn't have to be on on, on the airship all the time either. We could yeah. just um... we could literally be on on the on foot. Yeah. I do have a question, if I quickly. He's what gonna take level out of like, Oh, I'm definitely gonna. Uh, He's like, kind unfortunately. Private sanctum. We have a Uchi room, He's... by the way. Yes, but like, could he be able to? But but yeah, he's gonna have to like ask them the party. Private to... sanctum is a fourth level spell. I can uh, cast if it was any gold. Magnificent mansion is a seventh level spell. I can't cast that one now. Yep. The first one or not, I can cast without any material components. Yeah, that's with the limited wish. Yep. So. so uh, it's remember it's fifty GP per spell level, so <laughs> that's three hundred and fifty GP for the spell if you want to copy it. Let's see. Let's see here. And we he's have two hundred and thirty platinum. We have ten thousand. One thousand. We have eleven thousand gold, four hundred ninety-eight silver, and ten uh, diamonds worth about. This has got nothing on him right now, though. I'm gonna also roll a percentile dice for something here, real quick. That's just nothing on him right now, though. Yeah. So, an 85. Um, in the Ooh. margins on one of the spells, you actually see some of Ezra's handwriting. Ooh. And it's actually detailing an easier way to copy down the spell. <laughs> oh, Ezra, you oh. dog. Any, so, any... 350 GP is now reduced to 250 GP. Remember, um, you, you still have to ask the party if you use the stuff yeah. in the loot journal. Yes, because you still need to require get the you know the inks and the the papers to add into your spell book. Yeah, and that's why he's gonna take this book and it's gonna find someone to show it to, like Jade or whoever's closest from the library. Yeah. All right. Like, cause uh, the person who's in charge of the loot journal would probably be Jade. That's Jade. <laughs> it's Jade. Let's be real. <laughs> I, mean, she, I guess yeah, she does have the back of holding above, technically. Above, so above game, above game. Jade is in charge of, a, of the loot journal, but Cliff is kind of the one that, that keeps track of what goes in and out of it. That's true. I mean, I'm, she, she's, got the loot, she's got the loot journal because she's got the, um, the bag of holdings, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, Sviete, what are you looking for? Yeah, what's the uh, thing, Sviete? I... I am... Since, like, it's confirmed we're going to a beach, I, I have three things I'm looking for. First of all, more cucumbers and green apples, possibly some seaweed of some sort just for like extra green uh second entity of things uh swimsuit or like beach like swimming attire third thing souvenir gift or like pretty thing to get for jason okay that's nice i'm gonna roll a d6 <laughs> uh d6 okay Alrighty. uh that's fantastic so oh that you're... you were no i i got it yeah i, I got it um, so you're walking about and you stop by one of the um, the the jewelry stores. Yeah. And something catches your eye. Yeah. It's a singular black banded ring. It almost looks to be made out of like a carbide metal, something with a lot of carbon in it. Mm -hmm. And you're just staring there. It just catches your eye for whatever reason. Yeah. Meteorite ring. Like, you have no idea what it is, but it, it's it looks pretty. fascinating. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to add to the shop and ask about it. So the bell rings. Mm -hmm. And you actually see a female. Uh, long red hair, and her eyes are kind of like pale, stark white. And she turns and she goes, oh, well, hello, Mr. Eternum. How are you doing today? I've never been addressed as Mr. Eternum before. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to like kind of just like 
saunter up, uh, kind of not like <laughs> not like things are suspicious, but like this is an experience I never had before, uh, and kind of just ask, "Hey, I saw a black ring in the window. Can I ask about that? It, uh, ah. it interests me." Yes, and she lifts her hand and she casts Mage Hand, and it flutters over, Ooh. and it picks the ring up. And it brings it back to her, and she puts it in her hand, and she feels it around. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, I remember this one. A chunk of onyx fell down from the sky at one point. Oh, she's blind. Oh, cool. And I decided to fasten it into a ring. There's Wait. no magical properties to it, but if you are thinking about getting it for a beloved, then well, I could probably make some exceptions for you. I'm just, uh, what's and she's like it? rubbing it in between her hands as she's mm-hmm. talking to you. Sick. Uh, in my head, I'm just gonna go like, you may be blind, but you just read me <laughs> like a book. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, it's what I do, dear. I'm a diviner. <laughs> she me her was faded. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, uh, I'm going to just like, I'm going to look at. Uh, I'm going to. Just kind of sheepishly, as if like I'm trying to be co- I'm trying to be like covert and sneaky about my intentions, but she already fucking knows. No, uh, she read you like a fucking book. Oh, she for real is- though, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna be like, uh, how how much for the ring again? She like pauses for a second. You're a friend of Hut Ezra's. Mm-hmm. And she takes it out of her hand and she hands it to you, and it shined, like. <laughs> better than what you could have imagined oh. and she places it into the middle of your palm and she closes your hand up make sure jason gets it oh <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what yeah you know the miners be like that yeah you, you know what i'm gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna get rid of like a book again but just because like i'm getting some fucking god tier customer service uh i'm going to try and like pickpocket no! Uh, no! Do not try no, no, to no, pickpocket no, no. a divine. No! 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 no, no, no. I, okay. No! No! I don't mean pickpocket as in steal. I mean pickpocket. He's as trying in to plant. reverse pickpocket. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to plant money on her. I'm gonna try and plant uh 50 gold into like uh like I don't know the the desk that she's at or don't, like don't say, her don't, pocket. Th- don't say pickpocket then. Say put money on the table. That is. I mean, that is money big... into her sleight of hand, money into her pocket. Yeah, yes, yeah, okay. yes. Don't say pickpocket because pickpocket insinuates your taking. If I wanted, if I wanted to steal, I'd say steal. <laughs> but no, uh, I'm gonna try and sneak 50 GP into her like pocket. Yes, okay. With she with, just with... smiles as she's holding your hand, and she goes, "Now there's no need for that." <laughs> she knows. Uh, like I, like I said, like I said, don't try to slide a hand a diviner. Okay. Well, Can you I know. Tell you a secret, Mister Atona. Uh, y- yes. She takes her hand and she points up under her right eye. I may be blind, but my eyes see all. Uh, I, I, I'm becoming very increasingly aware. <laughs> uh, I'm going Come. to just, like. I'd quite like to meet the rest of you all. Ah, well, I, I would certainly be glad to gather the gang. And she's, like, holding her hand as you two are walking out. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to move her to the uh, token layer. So, in the meantime, with Nestor and Jade, I'm guessing Nestor's asking for <laughs> money from the Wood Journal, money from the... <laughs> for supplies. For supplies and stuff. Yes, and that, that and yes, and so that's basically what what I found in this book, Jane, and that's why I'm asking you for money so they can copy these spells down so that we may be able to use them for the future. Oh, all right. Uh, she, she she like takes out the bag of holding and like takes out. Uh, does, you don't have to dump out the bag. You can just like take out like uh, stuff specific stuff, right? Yeah. All right. Good. So she like takes out. Um, the, the, How much platinum is it worth again? Uh, it is only worth 25 platinum. She takes that 25 platinum then. And how much for the, the materials he's gonna need? He needs to craft a... Miniature portal card of ivory, 
a small piece of marble, a tiny spoon, and all of them have to be worth at least five GP. So, so that's three things that worth at least five gold. Gold, so fifteen gold there. Correct. All right. So, so twenty-five is, platinum plus fifteen. That gold. is now we now like have twenty-six and a half platinum. Okay, so she takes that yeah. much out and gives that to Nestor. That should cover you. So Thank you. And he goes to get the supplies he needs so to be able to start and, you know, copy these spells down and whatnot. <clears throat> Especially using the notes, uh, to vet, uh, Ezra left here to... So we have 204 platinum and, let's see here, 11,000 minus... How, how, much, how much gold again? Uh... uh that's... Oh. Uh, 15. 15, yeah. 15, okay. Yeah. We got a lot... 10,958. We, we still got a lot of money left, so... Okay. I mean, we're making, we're making good use of it still, right? <laughs> so, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... Actually, I, I may have... I may, probably should have said this earlier, but no, I'm gonna keep the 50 GP since she's very insistent on me not giving it to her. Yeah. By the way, did we ever... <laughs> Nestor, did you ever copy down that scroll of levitation? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm, che I'm checking here, okay? Uh, I think he did. Let me just check to see if I'm in my spells. Okay, what level is levitation? Uh. uh dig. Okay, yeah. It, it's level t Yeah, I do have levitate on level two. Yeah. Spell, yeah. I'm getting ri rid of that spell scroll and you do have the spell scroll for call lightning done as well right he does yeah i already copied that down like a lot long time ago and uh the only one that i didn't copy down is the disintegrate spell scroll for obvious reasons can't cast it yet. yeah because yes. you can't cast it yet yeah okay let's take a look here uh da -da -da -da. what else do we have chain lightning i'm pretty sure you, you, you did that one yeah after all he's used it before He's used it before, many a, a couple times. But... He's used it. He's used it quite a few times uh, actually. Oh, we have a scroll of gaseous form. Yeah, but I don't think he, he's used it at all. <coughs> so you don't have that one copied. I'm I do sure have you... that one copied. He does have copied. Okay. okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get uh, back to the second track. Yes. Yeah, so let me. Show, so let me. Show, what spells do I need to add? The. Uh... Just the one. It's uh, Mordenkainen's Magnificent Mansion. I can add it to your spell sheet for you. Yeah, yeah, you can, can add it. Anyways, um, meanwhile, um, Jay was like looking at some dresses and stuff. Um, you know, at, wow, you know, just like waiting the other, like, like, like the other people, we'll even, we'll, 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 we'll wait on the others. Cliff is probably walking past, past her while, her while she's she's looking at herself in the mirror or something. Well, she was. Yeah. Find something you like there, Jade? I don't know. Uh, if a lot of these things are um, res very restrictive when it comes to movement, but I mean, I kind of need. I kind of need what I need, but I haven't worn anything different since I started, so I kind. I kind of need a bit something. A bit something different. Well, if you're looking for something, Miss Callisto, Oliver can go ahead and get that fitted for you. Uh, she looks like look, 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 looks behind her. And sees what's her name? Again? She sees, she sees the female who has not addressed herself yet. Yeah, the one that's blind. I know, and, about, but can uh, see like into your soul. Right. She sees the red-headed uh, person. That now, she... I do want to also preface. Yeah. She is much smaller than you. Oh. Ah. She is about. No, she's actually slightly taller than you. About the same height. How tall is she? She's five four. Oh, I'm six. I'm, that, she must be she, like. Jade's the same. same Jade's the same. Yeah, same. that's what I'm about to say. About the same size. Wait, Jade's the same height. No, mm -hmm. Jade's five three. I just double checked. Oh yeah, she's five three. She, she smiles. This. And you must are man. Myself. Oh. Hmm. She's uh awesome, awesome person who can who read me like a book uh despite the fact that like i said not a word 
she wanted to meet all of you. So I thought I should bring her out. I do see Miss Nightshade over there at the magic shop ogling the continual flame. I see Mr. Eternum, Miss Callisto, Mr. Thunderhoof. Claire, Where's the other boy? Mind. Where's the other boy? Nestor? No, last That's I saw the him one. Here. Last I saw him here, he's over at a mat in the bookstore. Ah. Must be perusing over Ezra's stuff. Yeah, I just gave him the money to copy down some scrolls. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Ezra's a scholar, but <laughs> he didn't learn them by himself. I. So, how do you know Ezra exactly? Or is it just because he's the ward here? <laughs> My darling. That's something I'd rather not talk about. I'll it, just assume it's because he, he's a ward here for now. She just gives her like that smile and, and the look. Like, it'll just come through in all due time. I'm really inside. Uh, Jade's really inside on that. <laughs> yeah, so sure. is so is Cliff. So is Cliff. Sure. I'm, I'm 24. Sure. I'm, I'm really busy minding my own business. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Jade, Cliff Jade. reads. Cliff reads her like a book. Cliff, you had a conversation the other day, or a little while ago, about a red-haired elf being referred to as Lady Nightingale. You finally put two and two together. You're the Nightingale, aren't you? That's right. Saressa, it's a pleasure to meet you all finally. <laughs> Ezra has told me all kinds of stories about you all. I'm sure, and I would love to hear a few stories. I'm sure you got a few stories about him. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious uh, if it's okay if you disclose. Uh, what has he been telling you about me? I doubt he's telling her anything. She's well, just finding it out for herself, aren't you? Well, Mr. Eternum, at first he was apprehensive of you. <laughs> he felt you were more, no more than a common pickpocket. But, he always thought that your skills would come in handy someday. And then he started to realize that you are more than someone that just <laughs> picks the pockets of others. Uh -huh. You've got a good heart on you. Let's go. <laughs> so. Pause. And she just kind of like reaches up and pats his head, but accidentally pokes him in the cheek. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's just fine. Jade kind of looks at that. It kind of looks like looks at her eyes, like kind of like noticing that, like, you know, like in realization. If you're wondering, I traded sight for the ability to divine. I wasn't gonna say anything because I thought that would be rude. I, I'm gonna say something. Wait, hold on. You traded your sight for the ability to like see all things at all times if you want. That that seems like a really good trade. <sighs> if However, I I, I'm sure it has its downsides. I, it does. True. Have you ever woken up in the pitch black, not knowing where you are, fumbling about, accidentally walking into a wall? I I like a couple times. <laughs> Would I do that every morning? <laughs> I am sorry for my insensitive comment. That's okay. I figured as much. We had a friend here who got around using echolocation for a while, but... Yes, the Triton girl. Yep. Yes, I remember. She was also blind. I don't know, yeah. she could see... She still she see... Uh, sorry about that. She could still see, but... Quote unquote, see. Quote unquote, see. She had, yeah, above game, she had dare double eyes. She like waves her hand in front of her face. Don't see it. Uh, that's mm. a shame. But, you know what I can see? 
She like looks over in the general direction of Velocity. I see the genie that that one is attached to. Huh. It's clear as day. Right around her. So you can see the truth. The, the truth. That's right. Mm. We're just thinking for a moment. Is Velsa there? Well, I'm in Slayer, yeah. yeah. Vel, you said your mom's, your old, that old bat of a mom of yours is a changeling. Um, so you need to actually go over to Wolves Vel now for this bit of uh... <laughs> She's focused on that fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> you gotta understand. Fair, fair enough, it's a fair fire enough. that's burning all the time. I'll have Jade. Alright, I'll... so Cliff is gonna... No, no, I'll, I'll make Jade this time. Uh, right. Jade pokes her on the shoulder. Uh... Val? Val jumps slightly and is like, yes. <laughs> you have a, a mutual friend who wants to speak with you. Oh, uh, okay. And just like, she glances him back towards the fire. It's like, oh, I'll come over now. <laughs> <laughs> so. so uh, she's over here. She like, like kind of like moves towards uh, Sarissa. Uh, she just floats over and it lands. Mm. Like, she okay. smiles, kind of like tracing where she's going and then just gives her a bow sure. it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance i very much pity everything that's happened to you well it just gives us my truck is like nah i think that just happens <laughs> at least you do not let fate get you down Come. She like claps her hands together. I'd quite like to see Nestor as well. Could I uh, hold someone's hand though? Yeah, I'm gonna put I, mine I, out. I'll do you one better. Here, here. And Cliff Damn is you. actually gonna walk Ooh, up to um, and hold his arm out. I don't ride horses. Oh. Can't really see where I'm going. Not a horse. Well, centaur, <laughs> but you get the I'll, idea. I'll lead you then. I actually quite like his hand and he point she points at a uh, Sviete. Sviete, yeah hell yeah i grew myself every like 10 hours <laughs> it's very don't, soft don't worry about it cliff <laughs> maybe some other time she, she tries to yeah. cheers him up hey, so, besides, no, done. besides i do appreciate the thought though i just i had a really bad experience as a child is that how the uh and cliff is so Thing happened, no, or no. was that actually magical? Ah, uh, well, and she lifts her arm up. Uh, I did break my arm from that. No, I've. <laughs> mm. She like thinks to herself for a second. I'll tell you all when we have some privacy then. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. All right. With that, Cliff is gonna lead the way. Over to Nestor. Yeah. Nestor, what are you doing? Well, <laughs> he's just about, you know, f finished copying down the spell as well as, you know, making the, uh, carving the things out of ivory, which was taking them quite a bit because, you know, it's no easy task, so he's using, like, intense focus right now to just carve the pieces out with, with the ivory, what he brought. It's like, it's. He's actually following Ezra's notes too, just so you know. Yeah, he's fo following his notes. That makes it a little easier. Off in the margins, it says something along the lines of use a smooth, flowing stroke when you're uh, carving the ivory to not chip or break the horn itself. And yeah, he's doing that all right. It's just that, you know, he's just never done this before, so he's a bit nervous. There's like little like comments that's like, if you break it at the first time, just remember that you can always cast Lesser Restoration on it to fix it. Or Mending, you mean? Mending, or Lesser Res. Oh, that's a good... Oh, that's definitely good... Well, that's Bet definitely you. good advice. Yeah. Well, Lesser Res um, cures a status of I know. I know. I know. It's just, it's just like a comment in the book. And like Ezra's like, there's like a little uh, a scratch out that says my bad. That's wrong. It's mending. 
<laughs> He's like, oh. I, I would Same imagine old. that Nestor would be the one to correct him on that instead. <laughs> so like, so like, it's actually okay. So he's actually correcting like the mistakes in the book too. He's, yeah. cor he's correcting himself while he writes it. <laughs> yeah. He. Same okay, old as hold on. So. Uh, he's, he's very Nestor intellectual. Is spell check Nestor is spell checking Ezra's journal. No, no, no. Ezra's <laughs> notes are spell checked by Ezra. They're, they're yeah. big, they're big. Yeah. Like, when he, no, like, no, no, it's him, no, like, no. experimenting and then figuring things out and fixing it. Yeah, it's, it's like, basically, you know, when you type something and you make a typo and you don't realize until later, so you have to edit it later because you had a brain fart or something? Yeah, like yeah. That. It's, it's basically the fact that he didn't have an eraser or something like that. Yeah. Because yeah. you have ink and you, you use a quill. Yeah. yeah, it's like annotating, but, like, on yourself. So... <laughs> While Nestor is in deep thought, he just feels a gentle tap on his shoulder. Oh. And Ceresa is like peeking over his shoulder. What you doing? Oh, I'm just uh, working on something to uh, base uh, to, to, to components for a, a spell I just learned. Mm -hmm. You have great archaeomancy, you know that? Oh, oh why, thank you. I I do very much like how you are inscribing these draconic runes in. And she's like reached in, like rubbing her hand on the page. Very, very wonderful. You, you must be Nestor. I take it you are not, uh, also someone who's acquainted with Ezra? <laughs> you could say that. Come, your friends would like to reconvene together. And she held her hand out. Very well, and he packs up the uh, ivory stuff he was carving and uh, brings it to Oh, and um, remember, long sweeping motions to not crack the ivory. Yes, yes, he, Rez or Ezra said as much in the notes. <laughs> His notes. And then he just like to, to takes a, like a double take at her. Where do you think he learned all of that? <laughs> ah, I see he had help after all. <laughs> Ezra is very gifted in a lot of things. Sometimes magical studies is not the best suit for him. Come. I'm sure you would like to all reconvene. Like everyone's outside, Sarissa and Nestor all walk out together. And uh She goes, So what brings you to Dalamir? Uh a few uh, uh, a few unfortunate circumstances. We've had uh actually is there a place we can talk where Prying eyes, the prying eyes and ears can't hear us. Of course, my home. And she points at the house in the center. Because uh, it's a bit of a subject. Of course, no one should be able to hear us there. Follow me. And she like starts walking forward, and accidentally bumps into one of the uh, the pez, the the, the common folks. Jason. Uh, Alistair, I'm so sorry. She goes, no, no, no problem, ma'am. Uh, here, she's a J. J. Kai Holt offers her hand that uh, help. I'm not a defenseless old woman, Miss Callisto, but I do appreciate it. And she holds your hand. She just and she goes, you know, in elven years, I'm almost no older than you. Really? Oh, mm -hmm. so. You're relatively new, then? I've lived my life, yes. But after adventuring for as long as I have, I decided to settle down. And you guys kind of, like, circle the bend. And you see Ezra is holding, like, one of those, like, wooden training sabers. And he's practicing with a, a smaller, young, like, drow-like child. He goes, ha, 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 that's the way to do it. 
Hey, yo, he's, he's kind of living. Huh. That's the first time I've seen him smile since, like, ever. Ever. <laughs> well, he has been along from home for a long time. I imagine this is probably the best, most opportunity he has been and spent here since he left to, you know, adventure and whatnot, you know, becoming a lore keeper and all that. He's always While we're been here, keeper. close to Ezra's place, Cliff starts to, and seeing Ezra with it, with what he assumes is like a, a little brother or sister. Probably not. Probably just some, some kid that's, that he's helping out. Yeah. But he's going to cast, uh, let's see here. What's he casting? I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see where he's going with this. Yeah, me too. I'm, ju I'm just using my divine sense right now because I'm. Re that, that's I'm re sense. Smite. That's smite. No, wait. So divine sense. Gotcha. Yeah, I, divine, I understand. Yep. Divine sen sense. I see that he's that. enjoying like a playful duel with a child. That I'm gonna smite that motherfucker. I'm gonna smite that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sense. Okay. There we go. That that sort of calming air that you felt when you stood. Mm -hmm at the precipice of the, the like drop of the cliff starts to like overtake you right mm -hmm. this is an area that is innately divine it's like hence why it's called so the cliff god is staircase a, cliff is getting a splitting headache from, from hearing bells in his head then <laughs> yes oh. Ooh, wow the migraines get to you That's one way to put it. They ex wasn't expecting that. Mm. Come. I haven't seen him in at least 20 years. I bet you don't see I bet it's been a bit longer than that. Oh, Cracking I do hope he has a beard. Oh, he does. He does. Really? Yeah. Uh, he was in oh. uh, mechanics for a while, I think. I think that's he went I, back to that dreadful place? Yeah. Oh, he no, he's going to get a stern talking to. <laughs> and as she Ezra, rounds the trouble. bend, as she rounds the bend and Ezra turns, he just drops the saber. And the little boy goes, Aw, Mr. Bright Soul! And he goes, As I live and breathe. Is that right to you? Of course. Though, I could say the same. I don't really recognize you myself. And they like run up to each other and they like hold themselves each other in a hug. Ah, pug. Yeah, like. J. It's been see a long, oh. long time. Go ahead. Sorry. And that's that's it. That's it. So that's all you hear from Ezra for a while. Okay. It must have been so pog that it overloaded his pog sensors. <laughs> what did uh, what did Jade want to say? Uh, she wasn't going to say anything. I was too smart going to say. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, she was going to say something. Uh, actually, we did actually have something to talk about that we did want to anyone else to, else to hear. So. We wanted to go in here, the, this house, I think. It was, is this your place, Sir, Miss Rissa? I, I, mm, sorry. And she like uh, steps back from Ezra, wiping like some tears from her face. Um, yes. Uh, excuse me. I. Oh, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine, darling. You're fine. Um, Percy. And she calls over the young boy. It's like, would you mind going ahead and getting some uh, flatware ready for me? He goes, mm-hmm. Whatever you say, Mom. And he runs inside and he starts to like set the plating. And she looks to the rest of you and she goes, okay. She lifts her hand and she snaps her fingers. And she casts an instance of Mordekaiden's Magnificent Mansion. <laughs> Transporting you all into this beautiful mahogany oak uh, foyer. And Ezra just goes, my, my, Saressa. 
Every time we meet, you astound me. I don't have a map for that. It's fine. Just theater of the mind it. It's just so. you guys can have a space to con uh, converse. Mm, yeah, I don't have a map for that. Without anyone hearing you. Oh well, that's fine. She smiles as like some chairs start to float into existence. There's a like, little rug, a warm fireplace. She goes, please, have a seat. I understand the severity of why you're here. It is a dark day when I have to attempt to open up the bridge between our plane and the God's plane. So, I do need to know the reason as to why. Claudius we were was... summoned there by... Oh, oh sorry. The... Go ahead. We were summoned there by... to go there by Mikra. Okay. Claudius I see this. been gravely injured. Claudius was almost killed. And she's like, kind of like, gripping on the like... You, you can't kill uh, God unless you kill his followers. As long as one of us, at least one person is still still worshipping him, he's still alive. That's she's like, gripping on like, the edges of her dress. And like, Ezra puts a hand over hers. I know. It's I... not that simple, you know. The gods were once people. Just like you and me. While in this state they live as divine immortal beings, there are some things that can kill a god. Tell me about this man, Dorian. Who is he? As far as we know, we don't really know much. But from. And does he pose a danger? He's definitely a dangerous threat. He... He's taken over. He's. Usurped the High Fey Lord in the Fey Wilds. He is currently the sitting on upon his throne. See, and uh, if you do not, and since you are probably one of the few people that may actually know, I'll, l allow me to refresh your memory. The High Fey Lord is Claudius himself. No, no, I, I know. You see. Dalamir is, as I'm sure you've guessed, a very holy place. Yes? Mm -hmm. Hence why your headache was so magnanimous. I heard, I heard so many bells right there. Someone was... I've heard, had my bell rung before, but that was on another level. <laughs> oh. She looks to Ezra. Ezra. His jokes really are funny. I don't really like him, but you see, I am the one that keeps the divine doorway, the one that separates the mortal plane from that of the God's world, the one where we can walk between it and seek audience with them directly, so... not in their mortal forms, no, but in their true divine realm. So, you are the keeper of the Divine Gate. That's right. I... I th was under the impression that the Divine Gate was something only the gods could, could interact with. Yes, of course. But there has to be a mortal component to it. One way in, one way out. There's a keeper for the inside, and there's a keeper for the outside. Of course, I can't open it myself. Only a god can. As, <laughs> as powerful as I am, I'm not a god. So you're, like a, you're basically like a guard then? Mm hmm That's right. Do you need anything of us to open the gate? No. Just time. Vicar should be here within days or so time, and he should be able to open the gate for you. He's been reliable before. I'm pretty sure he'll do it 
with within that that, that time. Of course. For a, god, for a god of tricks, he's he's what amongst all the gods, he seems to have been the one with the most level head out in in this scenario. <laughs> we haven't really met the other ones though, besides Claudius. Well, Vikra has seen his fair share, and Vikra is very well aware of the situations that you have found yourselves in. A lot of the times, for a summit to be called like this, for adventurers like yourselves to enter into the Divine Realm, something has to be going on. You mentioned that the Feywilds was usurped, yes? Yep. It was. That, that would mean one thing. Claudius has no dominion over his sphere of influence anymore. You know, he can only so exist within a divine realm. I'm sure you all saw what happened to him, yes? back with his tree last time I saw him. That was him returning home. So the mortal shell is no longer there, but the immortal soul and body is. Until the, the Feywilds is reclaimed in Claudius' honor, really, he'll just be there. So, and, he, so he's just got, he's just he's just soul now with no with no body. That's right. And I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound like an existence I'd want. Mm. So he's not dead, but he's not alive either. <laughs> not wholly, no. No. Claudius and Vikra are very good friends, and for him to see that and to have to deal with that I imagine he wants to give you all anything that would uh, allow you to convince the other gods that this is a real threat given the fact that he's kind of out commission I don't think we can rely on him for boons either no a god's divinity reaches of course as long as you pray to them just there's nothing that they can do within their own realms, if that makes sense. I'm sure you got to see Claudius in action, yes? <laughs> oh, that's right. I think... Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. Hmm. And, uh, we kind actually of? didn't. We didn't. Nimbus, his emissary, yes? Oh, yes, Nimbus. Mm -hmm. What if I were to tell you, Claudius... So you're going to make armies of Nimbus. Mm. Just the flick of his wrist. Or that Vikra, given enough time and understanding, could make thousands of that friend that you know as Jason. The gods themselves choose their battles. But this is a battle that you have to convince them to want to choose. It's going to be difficult. And she looks to all of you... But I believe in you. Hell yeah. It's nothing a little bit... To, all we need to do is state the facts that... Of, of what Dorian plans, of what he's done... Done? Of what... Of, done? And, 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 and surely they will be able to risk the reason. If... If only it were that easy. Most gods are not as amicable as Claudius or Vikra. Then we, fortunately, we might have to, if they have anything they want in return, for the exchange for our help, then we might be, have to pay for, to, to, to make a pact with them or something along those lines. A favor, if perhaps, but uh, we might be short on time to be able to do that. She just starts chuckling and Ezra goes, do you really think that it's a Faustian bargain? No, 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 no. It, it, it's, it's more complicated than that. For, this is why I don't like gods. Gods. De deities are kind of cringe. No, it's not just that. How? Wait. How do I understand what you are talking about? 
<laughs> anyway. For us to want to get the gods on our side, it's going to take more heavy lifting than just convincing them and presenting facts. They're likely it, going to give us some sort of test. That's correct. And we can't just you know, rely on our, on our prayers either. No. Indeed. Indeed, so we'll have to, whatever tests they have for us, we'll have to do that without asking for them some sort of boon. Yep. Yeah, that's probably, that would probably be like a test without the boon, huh? That, that, that might have to be some of what we have to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, best, the best thing, the most we can do right now is prepare for, for the expected. Cool. All I know is I've if... met paladins that claim to have go gone toe to toe with with their go with emissaries of their gods, all for the sake of of proving themselves to them. Yeah, if any of them so if go... anything, have we they... have to be ready to fi fight characters such as n as a. Uh... Hmm. Well, so we'll have to. F Fight, fight Nimbus, and also that one that we saw, the one that shares the same dark side energy Jason has, Vikra's adversary. He certainly does seem like he'll be much more for probably the, not them because we've already got the because the two of them are already on our side. But well, um, you never know. It's and, 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 and if we do have to fight them, it will definitely be a tougher battle than when we had to face uh, Quandale Dingle. Oh man, that would that would. Have... That I was an annoying. Yeah. That what guy was so annoying to fight. <laughs> yeah, that I'm was actually his name. He makes the best Danishes. He's he's a little weird, but also he's not an emissary. He's an he's an acolyte, isn't he? That's correct. Yeah. Well, that's a, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Emissaries, acolytes, you name it. We might have to right. fight, face them. Is that well, sir. What you think? Well, it's one possibility. We're just trying to prepare ourselves for any eventuality, but you know, after all, it's our first, perhaps, first time a group of mortals such as us went to the Divine Realm, so we're just, you know, mentally preparing ourselves. Fair enough. She just looks to Ezra. Come, it's dinner time. And she, like, lifts, stands up, and claps her hands together, and the mansion fades. And as she does, the door opens, and the young boy goes, Okay, I did it all! Come on in. You are honored guests, and I will not take no for an answer. Mm. Okay. Chum. It's been a while since I've had company. So oh, that was oh man. It's been a while since I had to talk that that much about something so serious. <laughs> when inside my house, there's nothing more than listening to Percy talk about swordplay. Yes. Ah. Let's just not talk about that. I'll just mention uh something common, like you know, dancing or something like that. Perhaps. What's your What's your favorite? Okay, I have I, I have a conversation. You, hey, Jay, I bet you you can teach him a few fa fa some fancy footwork. Actually, uh, Ezra, can you come? I can you come here a sec? I want to to talk to you about something. Um, of course. Yeah. Uh, the rest of you, don't keep her waiting. Right. Uh, I could probably teach. You him know, as this. as, and he like leans in to the rest of you. Even though she's blind, she packs a serious wad up. It's the only person in this world that I'm genuinely terrified of. Mm -hmm. I have a conversation starter that's like perfect. And then uh, <laughs> let's get that Nestor one first, real quick. Right. Yeah. So the rest of you kind of funnel into the house. It's kind of cozy on the inside. You know, just like what you would imagine, like a, oh, a small home to be. And uh, Cliff, surprisingly, you fit inside, almost like the house is shaping around you. Okay, at uh, first, out of character, like, I'm trying to remember, did, did, uh, Ness, uh, Ezra did tell them about, like, alternate timelines and stuff, about he experienced or something, like, that he, or that he came from one or something like that? 
He has mentioned that he's lived a long time. Ah, uh, yes, but uh, okay. but he has mentioned that there are such things as alternate timelines. Mm -hmm. He's never mentioned so. that he's from one, though. Yes. Okay, right. Okay, so I so I found this journal. I was at first uh, I it was it was curious. It was seemed to be written, you know, sort of curious, but. Uh, to read for it. I was going to stop if I started to read anything too personal and was going to close it, but then it, it mentioned interesting things about interdimensional travel, but some of it was quite odd. It, I don't know if you made this like a really long time ago before you made it, Lord Keeper, or if it's one of those alternate, somehow this book was from one of those alternate timelines you came out about it, but uh, and he like holds his hand out. Do you have the book? Not with me. I found it in the library. Oh. <laughs> he, like, sits down. He pats his spot on the, like, cliff face next to him. Come sit. He goes, sits down. Nestor, I've lived a very long time. I've seen worlds end, worlds be born. I've seen the armies of hell. Hell, I've even ruled over it. You ruled over Avernus. At one point. What was it? What was it like? <laughs> you're, uh, not, you're not there. Not oh you yeah. Keep, you keep. You're certainly a man who keeps surprising me one way or the other. You lived a long life, and yet you, you managed to. I think what's surprising me most is after all this. Instead of being co being a god, you chose to be mortal. I <laughs> imagine it's because being a god is not all that's correct to be. That's right. That, and, and he looks back, and he looks in the window, and he sees Ceresa setting the table for everyone. Huh. I chose uh, to be with her. Uh, let me guess. She's your special someone. Nestor, I've loved a lot of people in my life. A dragonborn, an elf, but no one's quite understood me just the way that she does. Fitting how someone such, such as her would be, be your oars, and I can see why. You two do seem to be a lot similar. Yes. You see, Nestor, coming here is dangerous. Not only for the people here, but for her. Are you sure you want us to all go through that portal to the gate to meet the gods? Are you sure we shouldn't leave someone to help protect her in case Dorian tries anything? <laughs> Don't worry, I've already sent for that. That's a relief. But... I also wanted to tell you something. Mm -hmm. When I eventually die, the timekeeper will be coming for you. You will supplant me as the next lore keeper of my own choice. Do you understand? You choosing me as your successor? Of course. I can't think of really anyone, live or dead, that I'd want. So, and he like turns his hand over, and he smiles for a second. I built this a long time ago, and it's been here ever since. One day, you'll have to make your own chronal focus. But till then, you'll have mine. So you understand how to manipulate time as well as I have. Understand? I understand. It's just that this is a lot to take in. <laughs> At once, I was just a humble wizard, a humble apprentice that was just starting out in the guild. Then I learned about the truth of my past life, that, that I was a, the mother of a cult leader. It and then... That you had a mother of a cult leader. And that, 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 that I had a mother at all. And then... 
Now you're finding out that you're a literal space bending demigod. Congratulations, life is weird. <laughs> well, like, he like stands up and he dusts off his uh, his petticoat. He holds his hand out to Nestor. Like, come on, let's go well, have some like, rest. Well, I suppose like one day I I've always dreamed about what 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 one learning about everything there is to know. So I guess I bet it seems that dream has finally he decided to come to me, and he just goes to like, turn his hand and just takes Ezra's hand and just shakes it. Are you sure you don't want me to get that book again? Perhaps we might need the notes, just just in case. You know where this place is. So, come back here as you need. Just let them know I said you could borrow the books. Very well. And he starts to walk in, and you see the little boy run up and hug around his waist. And he's like, <laughs> he picks them up. Brings into the table. Esther smiles and goes sits sits, sits down with the rest of them. Mm, move uh, Nestor a little bit. So what kind of foods we got? <laughs> uh, roast. Uh, some kind of beast. You can assume that it's boar and potatoes. Hey yo. Like carrots. Down down. Let's go. She's like made a whole roast for you ahead of time. Like you don't know how she did this, but you have a whole roast. Wow. Sick. Cliff can Cliff can make several guesses. <laughs> Jay just doesn't know how this, this how she knew. But she she, she has a few, a few guesses too. But she doesn't she, she doesn't have no she has no idea. Yeah. No confirmation on one of the guesses. Just guesses. Just, just guesses. Um <laughs> Ezra sets the little boy next to you, Sviete. He goes, Hi, I'm Percy. Well, hello there. He's visibly like dark elf, like pale, like dark, dark skinned, um, huh. like the same amber eyes. Wait, Ezra this, has this yo kid? <laughs> hey yo! No, Ezra. You. Ezra is violet skinned. Ah, okay. This kid, this kid is the gray skinned elf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so like a dark. This is an underdark kid from the underdark. Or at ah. least what you could assume. Yeah. He like reaches up and he's like, "What's your name?" Uh, my I've name is. Like you. My name is Sviete Eternum. You may not. Uh, I. I, uh... I wouldn't know how many people there are who happen to be fox people, but I. If I. Could Do tell I have you to say there, it like that? That's a hard uh, thing to say. Call it. Call me Steve. 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 You don't look like a Steve. I know, but it's much simpler than Sviete, and it uses, like, the same letters. And, like, Sarissa, like, rubs his head. She goes, now, Percy, it's not nice to make fun of people's names. He's like, okay. It's a-okay. Uh, I, honestly, you can call me whatever the heck you want. Bangle Snorsh well, sounds kind of cool. Bangle Snorsh? <laughs> yeah. Can I just call you Mr. Fuzzy? Mr. Yeah, sure. Mr. Fuzzy, okay. I'm, I immediately give... Mr. Fuzzy, I... you have a, 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 a an epe on your shoulder, but your arms aren't long enough. Wait, Why I have is an that? E wait, wait, uh, hold on, I have an epe. Your your rapier, and uh, Ezra leans in and he goes, "I have taught this child everything that I know about swordplay. He's going to ask you a lot of questions about swords and sword stances. Do not feel intimidated." No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be interested in learning more about how to use my weapon. Uh, no, uh, I, yeah, I, this is a rapier. I, I, well, it's an I'm EK, sure. actually. A, a rapier oh. is just a class of weapon. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he, like, points at the wall. You see nine swords hanging up on the wall. Cliff <laughs> <laughs> is just listening in on this and, like, hey, kid, you ever fight mm -hmm. someone with that other, using something other than a rapier? Well, of course. Mr. Brightsoul taught me everything that he knows about fighting other people. Huh. Show me what you can do. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll go eat. Don't worry, Ezra. I'll he go just, easy on him. Sarissa just goes, no, 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 no. It's getting late. Let's all just have a nice meal together. We could do that in the morning. Yes, let's just, let's just have a nice meal together. Jade also agrees. Besides, I'll... he'd probably whoop, whoop your ass. 
<laughs> you know, I 100. percent I wasn't I'm, going to wear on my armor, probably. Yeah, 100. Well, you could I'd wear be, your armor if you wanted to. I'd be hyping up that kid and give you the and give and let you have have left of a chance to kick my ass. Hell no. I mean, he like lifts his hand, and do you want to know what you see? What? what? So a silvery copy of him standing behind you. <laughs> oh. Oh, you. Cliff is looking at Ezra. You dirty dog. You taught him that? Well, actually, I'd say he's better at it than I am. So, does he have uh, does it have a uh, personality like your, like yours does? No, see, that's the funny thing. I've never seen this before, but he is actually able to fully control the personality of it. He can make it, it doesn't have, a... have one. Do, can it what? Cliffy looks looks back at it, at this at this clone, and to, goes to reach for it. Is it is it, can, is it intangible like yours? Goes Your hand like passes swipe? straight through it. Um, your hand passes straight through it, and it doesn't react. It says nothing. Huh. Mm, I am going to immediately just like okay, wait. If you can learn this, uh, I, I, hey, I have a question, small child, uh. Yes, Mr. Fuzzy? Could you teach me this power you have of making a duplicate? I'd be uh... glad to I'd be glad to duel you in exchange. Just a nice playful one. Um hmm. He like looks up at Ezra. And Ezra shrugs. <laughs> I don't think so. I <laughs> I completely it, understand. It is a it bit took of a... Me a few hundred years to learn how to do it though. Okay. I don't think you have that much time, uh, Savete. Yeah, I don't Jesus. think I have that much time either. But, uh, <laughs> if you want, and he, like, looks down, I can teach you how to hold that rapier correctly. Hell yeah. So you're I not flailing wondering. it around like a limp fish. I'm 100%. <laughs> I'm 100%. Okay. <laughs> uh, and we can also get you the right size rapier, too. Sick. I'd be glad to, small child. Uh... What's my, it? My name's not small child, it's Percy. You're right. Percival, even. Percy. Oh, Percival's yo, that's that's a that's a cool name. Thank you. Anyways. I'm terrible. I'm terrible with children. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. As it just leans in, he goes, Don't worry, I am too. <laughs> uh Jade like uh proceeds to eat her food, even though know, like everyone else is just is he talking? It's good. You don't know how a blind woman cooked this, but she cooked it, and, and it was good. Like, as far as you can tell, there's no difference between your cooking and hers. It's been a while since I've eaten something that's so good, and it wasn't my cooking. <laughs> I had said I told Artist. you, Miss Callisto. I may be blind, but I'm not a defenseless old woman. And she, like, spins the knife in her hand around on her finger. Ah... She has skills to pay the bills. And, like, yeah, and Percy's like, yeah, M mommy's really good at cooking. And throwing knives, too. Yeah, I can see why you're... I, okay, that's... Uh... That's a bit concerning, but I think I can understand why. And that, so when, when, when hearing that, I'm not even concerned. I'm just like, can you teach me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She, like, flicks the knife off of her hand and, like, catches Fiete's hood. Wow. Is, is he not even it's phased? all in the wrist. Do it again. Do it again! <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> He's, wow, not even cool. again. He's not even phased. Like, gee, I would imagine that, loud. that if Savete light was any lighter, she could launch a knife at, at him and have him fly across the room into a wall. Mm. <sighs> So there are rooms upstairs for all of you, if you need sleep, of course. I personally will only be doing my meditation. Mm. So, like Jay looks like Bell. <laughs> oh, Miss Nightshade, I do have a present for you. Oh. Uh -huh. Mhm. Mm I noticed you were, and she like walks over to this like wall of like things in a jar, and she opens it. She says, "Yeah," and she goes. I noticed you were eyeballing Ollivander's shop, and she reaches to the top on her, like, tippy toes, 
and pulls out a jar. I have a gift for you. And she brings it over and she shakes it back and forth. And a little will-o'-the-wisp lights up inside. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's... come on. Do you have to really let a tortured soul do that? Well, see, here's the thing. That is an artificially made will-o'-the-wisp. It's not actually a soul. It's kind of like a like a firefly. If you huh. It's a fire in a bottle. Oh. Ah. If you put your hands on it, she takes your hands and she puts it uh, around the bottle. You can feel the warmth of it, too. Might be enjoyable for those long nights. Especially when you're up awake all night, too. Yeah. Hmm. So. This is very good. I'm glad. Thank you for that. A scrum dibbly bumptious. No, I don't expect you all to clean either. She like claps her hands together and some like brooms come out of the closet. I mean my my plate My plate is completely clean because I like fucking Yeah, Sviete was like face on the side, like tongue in it like He literally Percy's just like got his food on his fork staring at him and it just falls off. Yeah, I straight up like I, I Scooby Doo that mess. I just like he yeah, Scooby Dooped. It's oh jeez. I mean, he is sort of like a dog in a way. So, uh, yeah, sort Kinda. of. Hey. A... Hey, Foxman be be Foxman. Yeah, but you know. yeah, Fo Foxman be crazy. Yeah, no. <laughs> and so hey, Ezra, before we go to sleep, you mind if I talk to you outside real quick? Wait, who? Who? Uh, Come on. I, I, so yeah, who are you who are you addressing? He's addressing I'm yeah. ta Cliff is talking to Ezra. Specifically. Of course. I mean I'm I'm not gonna be sleeping, I'll probably be catching up with Ceresa stuff. Come on. And Cliff is actually gonna start walking back outside. Over towards the top of, of the uh area. Edge right up. Oh. Yeah, so like right, that way. Right up, up around here, yeah. He's leading you up over here. I'm curious about Nestor if he I know it's a, it's a small thing, but uh what does Nestor think of the food that Sarissa prepared? Yeah, what does Nestor think of the food? He does definitely enjoy it a lot. Because, like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, pr it's probably been a long time since he's enjoyed something so good, like, ever since the Hero's Feast kind of thing. It's, it's a, I must say, it's been a lot of, it's, it's good, good since I had, had, had such a good meal. It's definitely better than Rorden and Gamzee's cooking. <laughs> well, for you to say something so nice, it would almost make me blush. But But didn't he try to poison us? How do you know I'm not? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. And after that he's just he just like drops the fork. <laughs> but then she's, she's just kidding. Uh, it's 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 the joke. Um, she's trying to scream uh, him. <laughs> Mister, I appreciate your sense of survival, but not everyone's gonna have a knife to your back. Right. And she looks right. over, and she looks at Sviete, like that, like side eye. Yeah. Not he all of them. Nestor like picks up his senders and like to himself, like in his head, he thought, "Right, of course. After all, this is Ezra's special summon I'm we're talking about here." And he's just going back to eating. Saying that to himself, right? Yeah, it's like in his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that Nestor's the only one that knows so far. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he's, def yeah, he's, yeah, he's definitely not gonna let anyone else know because. Yeah, you know, that was a moment. <laughs> that yeah, was a exactly. moment. <laughs> he so he just said that to himself, like yeah, in his mind. <laughs> so, I'm curious. Cliff? I'm curious what she been. Hold on. Oh. Uh, what is it we're out here for? Yeah, Cliff is looking, just looking, overlooking the the the, the sea out the, out in the distance. So, well, this is not, I guess it's another moment kind of thing, right? Yeah. Mm. I. So I need a pl a place. A place. <laughs> For what exactly? Clip sort of looks over, over at you. Just, just, he is looking 
he's going to square up up his shoulders to you. Not as a paladin, not as a man, but as a friend. Are you okay? I... I just lost every member of my race, Ezra. Of course. Be hard on anyone to do that, right? So what is it you need, then? I need a grave. <laughs> he smiles. This and he reaches life. into his pouch and he hands you a dagger. Go on. Mark the spot. He just sort of... He just tosses it right there between them at their feet. <laughs> That's what you want? Is there any better spot? And he looks over it, over back at, out at the sea mm. and every, the view it's got. Right there. At the point. The furthest reach of Copia. Right there is the footsteps of the stairway of the gods. I can think of no fitting place for such a proud race. Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. And he just kind of like leans over and he gives you like a hug around your like humanoid torso. Uh, normally I'm the one giving these. Get over here, buddy. <laughs> he, like, like, gets you in a headlock and starts giving you a nookie. Okay, 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 okay. She'll be mad if you mess up my hair. She likes my hair. She, I think she like, uh... I think, I'm really, I'd like to roll a quick insight check off. I, she said she might like your beard, too. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Glad to hear that. Well, when I told, well, well, when I told, told her you, had, you grew... When she was ecstatic. You didn't tell her where I got it from, did you? Jade did mention it. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, you're gonna get talked to. <laughs> oh, most likely. You're in trouble. Most likely. Um, uh, I do have another present for you, though. And? He flicks his wrist, and wrist pockets out the spear he had been working on. In the moonlight, you actually see the Damascus pattern glowing a faint blue light. And the hair that the strap has also shimmers that iridescent blue. It's now, it's been stained into a black color, as well as the core of the wood stained black. I figure that I should hand this off to you. I haven't given it a name, you know. So. And he places it in your hands. Stand back. <laughs> of course. Cliff is sort of twirling around in his hands a bit, checking the weight and everything. I noticed that you tend to do a lot of strikes and follow throughs with your wrist, so I tried to balance the blade on that fulcrum point. Um. Message your arms, gave you a little bit of compensation for it. It should be a better spear than you've ever had before. Ezra. Hmm? In all my travels, in all my years, he, he looks up at you. I've never met an elf like you. Only once. Let me guess. It was Reggie. Used to be, yeah. Would you like to hear hear the story? I've got time. And he so, like gets on the edge right here and he sits. He passes so, the spot next to him. I, you're asking me to sit down? Of course. We'll be back here for a bit. No, I'm good. <laughs> Cliff is kind of pacing while he's, he's talking here. So... First time I came to, to the Material Plains up from the Feywilds. Obviously, I, I was a man at, at, out of the ocean. Right. So to speak. Big fish, small pond. Sort of yeah, I, I realized just how big of a world, um, world I lived in. Mm -hmm. 
I needed some money. Well, I took up, took on a few caravan jobs. Eventually, I met Reggie. Right. Thick and thin, he and I fought back to back. Right. Then, a couple years ago, his parents sent him off to night school. Right. Came back That's with his horse. Fun. And things just changed from there. Yeah. <laughs> you could say they've changed a lot, huh? More than I would have hoped. It almost makes you wonder what it is that maybe provoked Reggie to make these decisions, huh? Trying to get to the bottom of it, sort of thing. My first and... assumption is, is that he had a little run in with our mutual acquaintance. <laughs> but that wasn't how it was, now was it? I no, I can see it on your face. Something might have happened between you two. Could have caused the falling out. There was one caravan once. Mm -hmm. We were transporting some highly valued items. Mm -hmm. Reggie felt that we could have made a lot more more than more money by selling it ourselves than letting than escorting it to to the buyer. As hired work, yes. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm sure you know this by now, but Reggie is nobility. Of course. It's within He's got that pompous smug aura that all of us elves really do have, you know? Yeah, his is more so. You, your, yours seems a lot a lot more, more relaxed than his is nowadays. <laughs> You've actually shown know. some humility. I don't know whether to take that as an insult or a compliment, Cliff. Both. <laughs> now, you, no, you elves are all the same, but yet none of you are alike. Of course. Continue. <laughs> so, what happened on this caravan? Did you get into a fight? Yeah. I imagine words were exchanged that, at the moment, were heated and meant. But as you grew older, you started to want to apologize to him. Oh no, I meant ev we meant every fucking word. We were that close. I but see. what really drew the line was when he attacked a member of the caravan. What do you mean, a member of the caravan? A young woman whose husband tried to save her, but just couldn't. He killed them both. I see. Left behind a young son. Still in the crib. Yes, he always struck me as a bit of an arse, but didn't think he would kill innocents. I feel like mm. the, that that blow was meant for me. Though. I can't help but feel like I, if I. You know what I think, Cliff? Mm. I think Dorian knows what he's doing. No doubt there. That he specifically picked people to get under our skin and cause us to make a mistake. And he like stands up and dusts himself off. And he approaches you. He's gonna hold his arm out to. Like he's actually walked up to you now and he's standing alongside you and he's holding his arm out, offering to help you up. He takes your hand, he grabs it, he pulls up with you. 
And he looks and he goes, There's a lot of things in this world that you need to continue to think about. He takes two fingers and he puts it right on your chest and he taps where your heart is. Focus on what makes you, you. Follow your sense of justice that you've gone with your oath. You saw the, all five of them when you, when you came back, right? Yeah. I did. Cody's gonna spit in his hand. <laughs> Here and now. You're gonna make a deal with the Fae? Oh dear. <sighs> or alas, oh, it's boy. nothing like as Seer says. As we're what are you gonna do? Dangle me over the cliff? Don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but really. Follow your oath. I want you to follow, follow an oath you keep with me. Not is. The next time we see one of those fucks, we don't let them walk away. Duly noted. You like We're the ones who walk away. <laughs> he like takes that bronze hand and takes your other hand and you felt the spark in between them. Yeah. Contract has been made. A deal no longer be able to be broken. So Remember, you've made a deal with the Fae now. Best Remember, you've made it. a deal with a god. <laughs> You are not a god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. I know. Besides, I think you want to stay up a little longer and play with your spear. Yeah, probably gonna be a bit. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you're gonna add a plus three spear of just unknown name to your uh, sheet. Oh, right. Uh, it is a magic item, but you're not sure the nature of it yet. Oh my. So, that was a cool moment, by the way. <laughs> of course. I, this, this, episode Ezra, just, this episode just full of these moments, isn't it? <laughs> Ezra comes back, and I guess everyone's up to their rooms then? Yeah, I think they would be. Okay. Val would not be in a room. Yep. So Val you're still downstairs? Val would be outside by now. Okay. That was outside. Oh, we're gonna have so he comes moment. in. <laughs> that was just outside at the moment. It's not oh. anything else. Oh, okay. That's just, that's just being silly. Ezra comes in and opens the door, and he looks to Seressa. He goes, my dear, it's been a long time since I've seen you. You as well? Should we go look at the stars? Mm, no. I actually have something I wish to tell you. Oh? I received a divination the other day. What you're doing, Ezra, it's going to be the death of you. You know that, right? Of course. And you're okay with that? Well, no, but... And you mean to tell me that you're going to let Percy live this world not knowing where his father is? I mean... And you're going to leave me all alone? I mean... Uh, that's what I thought. Well... When you're ready to have a conversation about trying to preserve your life... I will be here. And a strong gust of air like shoves Ezra out of the house. <laughs> Seressa, come on. Cliff is actually walking up, up at this point. Trouble in paradise. She's mad at me. Of course she is. <sighs> what what about? Hmm. Disagreements. I'll put it that way. Come on. He's going to walk up uh, up next to you, sort of pat you on the shoulder. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going back in there. I do not want to go back in there. We're I... not going inside. Come on. 
J no, come on, we're going bar hopping. Ooh, that's probably not a good idea either. I need. No. I could use a drink. Well. And I do not want to be dr the. And it. And in the state I am right now, um, you guys are probably not going to see me in the morning. I'd rather ha have some friends by my side. To be fair, yeah. Fel's a, <laughs> is a, is a nasty drinker, so that'd be kind of fun to see. Mm. The thing is, Val's just looking off the cliff at the moment. <laughs> she's not really... <laughs> kind of she's like, she looking at the fire in the bottle. Please tell me she's looking at the fire in the bottle. She, well, kind of, yes. She is, like, looking, like, she's basically on the edge of the cliff in there, with, like, a wing, like, keeping a balance as she's, like, looking down at the bottle. I see. She's, like, looking off the edge. Uh, please give me a moment, huh? Yeah. yeah sure. Um, there's a tavern, uh, just down the way. Really good food. Uh, tell. I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for food. Hear me out. Tell Keith that the hen is in the barn. The boar needs to come out. He'll know what you mean. Do you have a smiley that at that bit? One thing you need to know about me before he approaches uh, Bell. I may not look it, but at one point I used to frequent a lot of taverns, and I've got a fair few gambling stories that I could probably share with you. <laughs> Jason's heard about all of them. So, head on that way, get us a table, or a seat at the bar. Yep. And, uh... Cause he's gonna, gonna sort of salute with his spear, with the tip of his spear, just tap it against his helmet. Gotcha. <laughs> Honestly, a night, a night out sounds like a lot of fun, you know, getting drinks and gambling. I mean, this sounds right. like something up Val's alley. Well, uh, Velocity. I mean, as long as she doesn't blow the place up like she did the last <laughs> one. Are you okay? So, Val's finally going to turn around, and uh, anyone that would be looking at her would see that. She's not wearing her eye patch currently. Oh. I thought you were blind in that eye. No, I just wear it. Because, well... The static choices, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm not blind. Hey, I well, the eye that's usually covered um, is not the same color. Heterochromia. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It's well, it's, the color is like a very toxic waste type of green. Ooh. He like leans in and he looks. I'd at imagine you. that's like glowing in the moonlight right now. Then. He like leans yeah. in and looks at you and he goes, you know. The color of the energy that comes off of you is very interesting. Almost similar to that of the mana I manipulate. Is there a reason for that? Are you sure you want to know what's a good name? <laughs> Venocity, my dear. I've learned today that Cliff is going through an emotional roller coaster, that Nesta is having a mental breakdown, and. A fair bunch of other things I did not want to know. And your wife is mad at you. <laughs> and quite honestly, and he like waits for Cliff to get out of earshot. Yeah, yeah, keep, he's keep, gone by now. Keep going. Keep going I'm Cliff. scared. Truly, I am. <sighs> Everyone else feels. I never want to chase them. Of course. <laughs> what do you think? I'm just going to curl up into a ball? And as he says, as he's curling up into a ball. <laughs> what? This is like Zoga over again? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, I'm just, I'm just being silly. What do you think? I'm going to curl up into a ball and cry away all my problems. No, I've always faced them head on, even if I didn't want to. It's been the friends around me that have helped me to do that. So yes, of course I have time for you. <laughs> no. Besides, let me buy you a drink. I'd like to hear about how you messed up Valius that one time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. Ah, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I know you're not sorry. Smart ass. 
I mean, very true. No, I just proved that I was the best spellcaster than him. Yes, but what he lacks in that spellcasting makes up for for one devil of a hit, though. Very Don't true. ever let him punch you in the face. It's gonna hurt for weeks. But yeah, that's why I keep your eye. Oh, uh, it's a bit of well, remnants of well, my family's blood in a way. Uh, it's from more so my. I would say, quote unquote, which does air quote, quote unquote, father. Nah. <laughs> right, right. That's the whole, you know, yeah, being able to switch, switch around very often. That means that she is also my dad's, even though she's Zoe's mum. Right. So, it comes from her mother. I didn't think something like that could birth such a deranged creature, but continue. She is not well. How's the best way to explain like explain what she is? Um So hmm. It is really difficult to explain what the what she is. Take She's not time. human or oh. Humanoid in any way. What do you She's mean? very much an eldritch being. Oh, I see. Who reproduced asexually Created and produced. Well. Yes. So, are you telling me that's where all the changes come from? No. Just her. That's just that's just where my mother came from. That's so strange. Well, for that, technically. It does get a bit confusing in that. <laughs> yes. You know, as much as I've peered into your family's history, I keep drawing blanks, you know? It might be grandmother doing it, but who knows? Yes, that makes sense, yes. An uncomprehensible power like that. Makes you shudder to think what's really out there, you know? Oh, some horrifying things, especially if we ever went to uh, where, well, we got resurrected again and that, you would see some hellish things, trust me. <laughs> Believe me, I know. He, like, pulls you, like, grabs your arm and pulls you, come on, let's go have a drink. Okay, as long as you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you the money bags? Say that I'm you've always no. got so much money? I'm saving up. For what? Um, I have a few ideas. What is he talking about? Oh, she's saving up money for something. What? But she's always. All you do is fly up in the air and cast Eldritch Blast. Not even that. I'm. You know, she says all the time she has nothing to spend her money on. I just have something to spend it on. What do you have to spend it on then? Oh, well, we'll hopefully try and get a new magic item. Oh my god. <laughs> so, does Cliff not say anything about the whole eye, eye being revealed at all? Or does he not notice? Oh, the eye patch not being there, yeah. It, well, oh, okay, so this would be the first time. Yeah, your first, time seeing it. first time seeing that. that no is one. Hell, that is no. one hell of a shiner. That's what I was saying. Yeah, right. No one in the party and that has seen her without the eye patch. Yeah, she's got, she's got, and her, her other eye is, uh, is, is a different color, and, and her eye patch is just not on, on her right now. Yeah, it's in, it's in a pocket on that. Yeah. But you, she just doesn't have it on. You know, Vel. Mm hmm Not sure if you care or not, but there's a chance you might be the last, uh, well, of your kind as well, alongside me. Ah, uh, there's some more of us out there. I already know. We can't die that fucking easy. True. Yeah. I did find that one, one, one hiding under a corpse. That and... You know, it's not a 100% guarantee that you're the last centaur out there. There could be centaurs in other continents, too. Hopefully. Well, probably the last one that's, that's from the Feywild. Yes. That'd be a... Sad thing to see your race die out. 
Well, uh, on that note, I actually need a drink now, so... Let's make this, this let's, let's, area. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's make this That's the, that's the we, library. Before, okay, then before here. we go, can how we here? all roll con saves to see who, who how here, passes then? out first? Is, is here a good spot, then? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So, when we get there, it actually looks like the tavern's closed. Oh. And oh, as we're like... On. As we're like, knocks like three times on the door. And then you hear another... He goes, Kevin, come on. It's me. And like, the peephole slides open. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! The door opens, and it looks like it's a whole new dimension in there. Like this gigantic tavern on the inside. You elves and your magic, God. Well, actually, it's not elven magic. But, welcome to the awning portal. The, uh, I'm sorry, the what? Yeah, there's a gigantic hole in the center of the, the, the tavern. There's like lines of adventurers <laughs> trying to get inside. And there's like a guy at the center pulling a lift, lever and bringing them down on a lift. The yawning where, portal. Now, where does that lead? Oh, uh, well, big dungeon. Ventures go down there in hopes of seeking fame and glory. Not many come out back alive, though, so I don't know why they do it. The glory? Yes. I know a few, a few of us. Come on, did I ever tell you guys how I got my name? Yes. D and D. Tony, you just moved yourself. Finished Sivete. within the Sivete. hour. Sivete, you're mute yourself. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'd rather not think about the names right now. I'm just gonna go up to Kevin and have one of those knockout drinks. <laughs> All right, let's go. And, uh, yeah, after <laughs> a couple drinks, even even Velocity's feeling it. Okay, I thought I was unmuted. I wasn't. Uh, apologies. So, uh, yeah. I, I find that hard to believe in that. Valorant literally have, like, own body waste and drink once. I just... Okay. <laughs> Roll me a DC 25 a con save. Oh, God. <laughs> Please get. I will if I get a nat twenty now. So huh. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then uh, as for myself, where is that? There he is. So what was going on? My... Oh, we're all fucking wasted. <laughs> Oh, sick. Okay, because my mother called just to be like, hey, when is your D&D &D thing ending? Oh, hey, uh, I got 21. <laughs> 21. 25 is the save. Ah, shit. So, the code phrase that Ezra gave to Kevin was for a drink that was on fire when it showed up. Oh. What? It was called the Dragon's Breath Shooter. And after two of those or in Velocity's case, three, because she liked to look at how it burned. Um, we're gone. Absolutely fucking sloshed. <laughs> and then there's like, okay. Um, we should probably head back to Cerus's place and uh, <laughs> sleep this off. Yeah. Oh, and you're going to get Kate house again. <laughs> It'll be fine. She's most likely trancing right now, so yeah. So I'll steal. Wait, her. I'll on. steal her in the morning. You guys are in Cliffsora right now, right? Yes. More than likely, you got add pl add three to that. <laughs> Still doesn't save. <laughs> <laughs> None of you save. I literally need to get from that twenty. <laughs> and then, uh, so we all walk in. Y'all head up to your rooms. Rest up. Biff is actually uh, gonna, not going to go upstairs. He's going to stick on the first floor. Yeah. Welcome to Dalamir, guys. Mm, sick. I would join along. I would have joined along for the alcohol thing, but my but you were asleep. Was, yeah, 
Also that too. I was not in range and I was not awake. <laughs> yep. I feel like that was a good dynamic for the three of us, though. I so. also shouldn't have gone because I would have tried to steal things. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you were. It's my natural instinct. Honestly, a this is a. Uh, I think it maybe might be a good point to stop. That's actually what I was gonna suggest. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs>